On the shores of Chesapeake Bay stands an honor at restitution. I don't think we could have been in a bit of better place for an NBA, not NBA, college basketball doubleheader. Welcome to the Naval Academy. And we are ready to go. The 2021 Veterans Classic. And we are in for an absolute treat. Yesterday was Veterans Day, but every day we should be honoring the ones who have fought in war for our country, for any country. And we are proud of all your service. And we, we honor it with a basketball tournament named after you. It's Richmond, Utah State. Virginia Tech and Navy. It's time for tip off from the Naval Academy in the Chesapeake Bay. This event is about pride, sportsmanship, and a trophy. This is the Veterans Classic, and this means it's game time. Well, not a lot of people in attendance, but that does not matter. Welcome to the 2021 Veterans Classic here today. Utah State, the Aggies getting ready to take on the Richmond Spiders. Richmond 1-0, Utah State 0-1, Alumni Hall, Annapolis, Maryland, and it is going to be a fun one. Utah State neutral site considered the road team richmond is considered our home team for today's game this is game one of three tonight coming up next at 8 30 is virginia tech taking on navy before in 11 30 p.m all eastern time ucla villanova non-conference tip we're just about ready to go Of course, both of these teams' best players, at least in game one. You got, of course, Gil Gilliard. Gilliard. I mean, you. I don't even know how to say what this kid did. He had played all 40 minutes in game one. And it's going to be definitely needed to see him on the floor. We're just about ready to tip things off here between Richmond and Utah State in pretty much any second from now. Utah State coming off a 20-win season. We look at Ryan Odom, the head coach. First 16 seed to beat a one seed in NCAA tournament history. April 5th, 2001, he was announced as the Utah State head coach. He was, uh, he was the head coach of UMBC when they defeated Virginia by 20 in March Madness. And it's just, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. It's time for some college basketball triple header edition. And a great way to close out our first week of college basketball before the weekend hits. We'll give you, be giving you score updates around the league as our games go on. But 20 minutes have been put on the clock. And we're just about ready to go. As we also ask, as you please rise, remove your caps, as this is a veterans tournament, we have to do the national anthem. And here it is.
Thank you. Tip off in our Veterans Classic coming up next. Ready to tip things off here between Utah State and Richmond. Here today, the Naval Academy, home of this Navy basketball team. Who will we see in game two as they tip off at or shortly after 8.30 tonight in game two of our doubleheader? It is going to be a fun one. I hope for a high-scoring affair, but it kind of feels like defense Maybe the name of the game here tonight. Tyler Burton, the man you want to see in, in, on Tuesday against NC Central at 14.7 for the free throw line. He knows how to get to the free throw line. He's going to try to help his spiders out. Let's meet our starting lineup for Utah State. It'll be Jones, Edel Rock, Miller, Bean, and Horvath. While Richmond's bringing out a Gillard, Sherrod, Ko, Burton, and Golden starting lineup. I mean, 5'9", 6'4", 6'7", 6'7", and 6'10", compared to 6'4", 6'5", 6'7", and 6'10". So, not a, not, Utah State's on a little bit of a smaller side, size-wise. Size doesn't really anything if you could score. We are ready to go. 17th season is Chris Mooney, 289 and 231 in his career at Richmond. And, of course, Ryan... Odom, first season as a Utah head coach. He coached. He was American. He was the American East Coach of the Year last year for UMBC as he coached at UMBC for 2016 to 2021. We're just about ready to go. Let's get this show on the road. Gabe, one of our triple header here tonight. And we are on our way. Navy and Rich, or well, Navy Academy or Utah State and Richmond as Richmond starts with the basketball. As they work this one down low to start, kicks it out for three, and the shot is up and good at our first points of the day. Come on, a deep three. Of course, it's Gillard giving us our first points, and then Utah State answers on the other end. So the two best players already knocking out the threes. Richmond 9-1 in their last 10 November games. So laying off the glass, and the big man able to lay it up and lay it in for Richmond. That's golden right there, 35-33. As they kick this one around the perimeter. Works it down low off the glass. Lays it up and lays it in. And the first five points of the game goes to Bean. 5-5 five, five early. Just about a minute, 15 seconds in. Just 16 points and 13 rebounds for Bean on opening night versus UC Davis in a loss. Step back J by Giller. Doesn't actually shoot it. Gets it back. They swing it around the perimeter for a deep three. Shot up no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Going to go the other way. That's Utah State basketball. Yep, 
Here we go. Passes it in. This is game one of our triple header. Virginia Tech and Navy coming up. I wonder if Navy can be ranked headed into next week. If they can beat this good Virginia Tech team. Mid-range J up and no good. Rebound going the other way. Here comes Richmond. Richmond up the floor. Dumps it down low off the glass. Tries to go with a reverse and he's fouled. Looks like Bean will pick it up. So he's got all their five. He's got all five of their points, plus their only foul. Two free throws coming up now for the Spiders forward and Nathan Ko. First free throw, good. Richmond's lead is now one. And he misses that one. Rebound going the other way. So he goes one for two from the line. Oh, he almost traveled. Able to keep that pivot foot in spot. As he kicks this one out to the lane. Off the glass. Shot missed as he tried to dunk that one home. Here comes Richmond. Gillard kicks it to the corner. To the big man in the paint. Golden off the glass. Shot up no good. Offensive rebound to the leg, cross court, Gillard, sidestep three, shot up, won't go. And a rebound going to Utah State as they push a transition. Up the floor, steps into a three, no good. Here comes Richmond as he gets a screen, cross court pass, that one almost stole it away. Mid-range jump shot, no good. And a rebound going to the Aggies. Up the floor, fakes a pass down low, kicks this one to Bean. Bean off the glass. He is fouled, and he'll go to the line to sh shoot a pair. KO is the one who picks it up, his first foul of the game. First free throw from the line. All six points now have gone to Bean as we're tied at six. No good on the second. So our first free throws for both teams actually split. Three minutes into action here in our first period. It's a screen, works this one down low, and the paint spins, goes off the glass, lays it up, shot no good. Rebound going the other direction. A lot of contact there, but no foul on the play. Quarter three, Utah State, no good. That was a good look, just couldn't get it to fall. Tied at six. Just swing this one around the perimeter. Makes a move to the lane, step back to the quarter. To the lane. Cross court, steps into a three. Good kid test and a missed shot. Rebound going the other direction. There we go, gets a screen, corner three. No good. Both teams a little cold right now, headed to our first media timeout. Richmond has not scored in two and a half minutes. Actually, two minutes. They haven't scored since the 1804 mark. So they work this one down low. Swings this one around the offense. In the paint. Kicks it out. Spins. Fades for three. Is good. Gillard, Gilliard with his bucket. Second three of the night. He's two for three on the day in a nine to six game. To the lane, spins, kicks this one out. Good defense here as Utah State tries to force a bucket, and they do down low on a nice backdoor cut. Or both with the basket. Almost five minutes into this one. 20 on the shot clock, gets a screen, dumps it down low. Got a drive baseline, goes off the glass. So oh, that one was in all the right places except in the basket. Rebound going the other way. Kicks this one out. Works it down low of the paint. Fade away. Cross court. Steps into it. Sets his feet and everything. Misses it long. 
Rebound Richmond as they bring it up. The Spiders with a one-point lead. Almost six minutes in. They kick this out to the big man. Got to drive baseline. Spins. As they kick this one out to Golden. He'll step it to a three. It's good. 12-8 Richmond. Their lead's the biggest it's ever been of four. Six minutes into our first half. Up the floor. Kicks this out of the corner. Good closeout. And that one's stolen away. Up the floor comes Richmond. Kicks it to the corner for three. It's good. Sheard with the three. Kicks this one out. Fakes a three. They swing this one around. Shoots a deep three, and it's good. There's a three there by Utah State. Horvath with the basket. It's a screen. Shot blocked. Spins. Kicks it to the corner. Now they'll reset the offense as they dump it down low. In the paint. Kicks it out for three. Offense starting to flow now and the lead is seven. Four of the five starters have scored out of their 18 points. They swing this one around the offense. Now they look to slow it down. Warvath to the lane. Spins. Kicks it out. Drives off the glass. Lays it in. The Utah transfers are going to their rival. We are still waiting to go to our under 16 minute timeout. We've almost played eight straight minutes without a whistle. To the lane. Cross court for three. In the corner, no. Offensive board, kicks it out, fakes the three, drives baseline. And that one knocked out of bounds, so that will send us to a timeout as Utah State will have the ball. 18-13 is our score, 12-21 to go here in regulation. We've hit the under-16 timeout. Three ball is falling for Richmond early. Can it continue when we return?
we go. Welcome back. Out of the timeout. 18-13 is our score. 12-21 to go. So we could be headed to another timeout within the next 20 seconds as that was a very long spurt of basketball with high scoring efficiency. 18-13, Utah State ball. 12-21 on the clock. Off the inbound, here comes the... Here comes the here come the Aggies bringing this one up. Dumps this one down low. It's a screen going to drive. Baseline spins. Floater high off the glass. Shot up no good. It'll rebound go the other way. Here we go. Gets a screen going to drive. Kicks us to the corner. Pretty much a new five in. For both teams as they've brought some of their starters out to rest. As they get a screen. Tries to step back. Three will go. Offensive rebound with a shot clock hitting zero. Swigs it cross court. Drives baseline. Euro step. Loses it out of bounds. Utah State basketball. It will let do another timeout. 11.27 to go. No points scored. Timeout. Welcome you back out of the timeout here today. The Veterans Classic on Veterans Day past. Yesterday was Veterans Day. Here we go off the inbound. Here comes Utah State bringing up 11:27 and counting to go. First half of action between these two schools. Utah State. And Richmond with a quarter three that does not fall. Rebound go the other way. Both teams have played a clean game. One foul for each team. We haven't had a foul since the 18 and a half minute mark. It's a screen. Works this one around to Gilead. Gilead kicks this one out. To the lane. Mid range. Dumps it to the corner. Back down low into the paint. Spins. Fades. Off the glass. Floater up and no good. And a rebound go to the other direction. Up the floor, gets a screen, got a drive, down low of the paint, cross court. He is met at the rim and he's fouled. 
Looks like number 15 will pick it up. That is going to be Grace. That's his first. Team second. First free throw up a good. Second free throw for the line now as he's shooting two. Hits them both. Miller is the one who knocked down both free throws, by the way, if I did not say that. It's a screen, kicks this one out. Get a drive baseline. <clears throat> Euro step off the glass. It leads to an easy layup. I don't know how he did not step out of bounds. Crabtree with the basket. There we go. Gets a screen. Going to drive a deep three, and it's up and good. That's a big shot by their big man. Ashworth, who knocked down the three there for USU. In the paint. Spins. Fades off the glass. That's how a big man works the paint. Brick to brick. 33. Which is golden. Has, what is that, seven? He has seven so far. They're 22. Four-point game. And an easy floater on the other end. Getting to the rim is a good sign right now here for Utah. Here we go to the lane. Spins. Kicks this one out. Going to drive to the lane. Cross court. Off the glass. Lays it in. Another great pass. Twenty-four twenty is our score. It's a screen, kicks this to the corner. They swing it up top. And another three, and it's a one-point game. Bean also having himself a game. He's got eight of their twenty-four and only one miss. That's also his nine hundredth point in his college basketball career. There's a turnover. The balls go the other direction. Utah State has a chance to take their first lead. Here we go off the inbound. It's a screen, swings this one around the perimeter. Going to drive, kicks it down low, what a pass! And he somehow dunks it, it felt like he dunked that one for the free throw line. Dorius with the basket. 24-25 to the leg, gets him to fall, left him wide open, misses the three. And a rebound, USU. And it's stolen. Euro step off the glass, lays it in. Richmond gets that lead right back. Twenty six, twenty five, and another floater up and good. They swing this one around, dumps it down low. Euro steps, stole it away. Up the floor. It's a screen. That one stole it away. On the other end, Gillier with a reverse city lays it in.
There we go. Gets a screed. Kicks this one up top. Gonna drive. That one's stolen. Up the floor. Richmond to the lane. Good passing. Golden lays it in. Utah State wants to talk it over. The lead is three for Richmond. 6.37 to go. Timeout. Aggies. Turnovers have been a problem in the last couple minutes. Welcome you back to, well, the uh, Alumni Hall, 6.37 to go. Out of the timeout by Utah State. A few steals in the last few minutes for Richmond. Forcing that timeout. They get ready to pass this one in as we have a little bit of a delay. As it looks like we're getting ready to get back into it now. They get ready to inbound this one. So we're still kind of waiting. Oh, and there looks like they're fixing the scoreboard right now. Looks like we have a scoreboard malfunction. And it looked. 
So the start of this Veterans Classic started in 2014. 22 teams from seven conference. Also, 25 future NBA players that participated. Eight teams went on to the NCAA tournament. UNC lost in 2015 in the national championship game. And it looks like I think we're ready to go. Right now, 9 for 18 shooting for Utah State, while 11 for 22 shooting for Richmond. Whistles blow. And I think we're right back to it. Here, we, here comes Utah State bringing the basketball up the floor. Here comes Utah State, 27, 36 and a half minutes to go, second quarter. Out of the timeout, gets a screen, kicks it out. A drive, Ashworth to the lane, cross court for three, shots up, won't go. Offensive board, second effort won't go, and a rebound go the other direction. Here comes Richmond, bringing it up. Gets a screen, kicks it out. Don't forget, coming up next, game two of our triple header here tonight. Virginia Tech and Navy. Quarter three, up it good. That's a shot from that. That's a great shot from their big man. Grace now has his first points of our game, 33-27. The threes have been falling here in the first half. Quarter three, no good by Ashworth. Knocked out of bounds. Going to stay on this end of the floor. Fresh 20 on the shot clock. And now we have a late whistle. And we have a late whistle and a foul against Dorius, his first. He's first, or his first team second. Here comes Richmond bringing it up. There we go, gets the screen, kicks this one out to the lane, spins, drives off the glass, lays it up, no good. Rebound going the other direction. Up the floor, Euro step off the glass, no, but the tip in by the big man is a yes. Dorius with another basket. 33-29 is our score. Gets a screen, kicks this one out. Get a drive, cross-court pass for three, won't shoot it. Step back, Jay, now kicks it out. They swing it around the perimeter. In the paint, spins, fades, cross-court, three to shoot. Ball's on the deck, get a foul. Oh, it's an offensive foul. I didn't think they were going to call that. Fouls on 24. They're going to call it on Bailey. Team's third foul for Richmond. 439 to go, first half. Here we go. Kicks it down low in the paint. Spins. Step back. Now kicks it out. Works this one to the corner. Drives baseline. Spins off the glass. Blocked. And no one was there to grab the rebound. They're able to lay it in. First player dug double figures is Beam. This one's now 33-31. Next whistle takes us to immediate timeout. Deep three will go. Chance to tie or take the lead for Utah State. You're on this possession. Oh, that was way off the mark. He airballed. Rebound go the other way.
Deep three. Up and will go. Offensive board. Works this one. Trying to do something with it. Kicks it to the corner. Gilliard to the lane. Gilliard spins. Now he slows it down. Off the glass. No. Whistle and a foul. We'll step aside. Tom out on the floor. So, first free throw attempt of the night. I don't know what just happened there. Uh, misses that one. First one up and no good. So he goes one for two. 34 31, 311 to go in our first half here today between these two schools. So they bring this one up the floor. That one's stolen. Swigs this one around the court. It's a screen, dumps it down low, and he kicks it out for a deep three. Big man getting more points. Thirty-seven, thirty-one, high scoring first half. Up oh, and it leads to a dunk. Darius with a slam. Orius has six good off the bench points. And another three on the corner. The big man is killing them right now. Richmond, let the man keep shooting. Let's 
Here we go in a mid-range J. Points start to come for both teams with at will. Dorius with another basket. There you go. Gets a screen on a step back. Kicks it out. Works it down low. Looks to double. They do not want to leave their best shooter open. Makes a three. Drives baseline. Gets him jumping. Kicks it out. Has to shoot it. Left it short off the front of the rim. Rebound going the other direction. Up the floor. Oh, that one knocked out of bounds. We're going to stay on this side of the floor. A minute four to go here in regulation. Both teams have got three fouls, so foul trouble is not an issue. To the lane, spins off the glass, lays it up, lays it in. Back to a three-point game. First point today for Hendona. Deep three. No good. Offensive board. Gonna drive baseline, spins, kicks it out. Drives again, cross court for three. Shots up, won't go. Rebound going the other direction. They could work this down to one of the last shots. There we go, gets a screen. They're gonna slow this one down. Gonna drive, Euro step, that one on the deck, fader, no good. They have four seconds, Crabtree up the floor, gotta get it off, and it's good. What can transition offense. He got it off, it went through the net as the clock hit zero. This should count, he got it off with about .8 on the clock. That is one way to set us to a locker room and already a fantastic ball game. 15 minutes is halftime, and we'll see you with that exact amount of time. Halftime here at the Naval Academy. It is 43-37 in game one of our triple header, Richmond over Utah State.
go. Welcome back to the start of the second half here today between Richmond and Utah State. Utah State played a really good first half. If you look at the stat that they went 4 for 10 from 3, while Richmond went 10 for 18 from 3. As we're just about ready to go, clock reset to 20. In the second half of our game one of three, just about ready to go. It's also game one of two in our Veterans Classic here at Alumni Hall. The Academy, the Naval Academy is where we stand. It'll be, it will be Utah State who gets the ball to start our second half, I believe. Whistles blow, inbounding the ball, and we're on our way to start our second half. Game one of our doubleheader. Don't forget Navy and Virginia Tech coming up next. And we come right out of the break with a missed shot, but a foul has been called. They're going to call that one on number four. Second foul on KU. Off the inbound and a fadeaway. Jay shot up no good. In fact, missed, in fact, he missed everything. We got a whistle and a foul and a few free throws coming up. I'm going to call this one on 15. That is against Jones. That's his first. Here we go off the imp uh, the first shot is up and no good. Second free throw no good as well. Rebound going the other direction. Here comes Utah State. Looks at a backdoor cut. What a pass and an easy two. First points of the second half coming there. Miller gets the scoring going just about 40 seconds in. So they swing this one around. One foul for each team just a minute in. It's a screen. Going to drive on a step back. Jay shot up. Won't go. Ball being knocked around. Finally picked up. Here comes Utah State. Up the floor. Kicks it out. Makes a handoff. Passes this one around the perimeter. Fakes a pass down low as they swing this one around the offense. It's a screen, gonna drive. Works this cross court to the lane. Spins, fades off the glass. Shot no good. Offensive board leads to another jump shot. This one's good. Back to back buckets by Miller. He's already doubled his point total compared to the first half. Here we go, gets a screen, gonna wanna drive. Kicks this one to the corner. Drives baseline. Cross court for three. Shots up, won't go. Two players going for the old rebound and they're able to still get it. Here we go, gets a screen. They swing this one around the offense. Deep three, up and good. And that's the lead. That's a run as well. They're getting a little bit more comfortable here in this half. Off the glass at the first points of the second half now for Richmond. In a 45-44 game. And we go, gets a screen as they swing this one around. And a drive kicks it out. Gets a screen to the lane and a whistle and a traveling vial. I don't know if they're going to call foul. Number five picks this one up. Picks that foul up for Richmond. His, his first. He is second of our second half.
Off the inbound as they swing and turn this around. And another foul now against Richmond. Foul's coming early here in the second half. That's the second foul. It's actually a third foul on KO. He'll have to take a seat. Third foul of the game, second of the half. Third of the half in total for Richmond. Here we go, spins. Kicks this out, gonna drive, loses it out of bounds. Whistle and a... Looks like another foul against Richmond. This one against Joe. Two free throws coming up from the line. Not even three minutes in and already four fouls against Richmond. First free throw for the line is up and no good. He goes two for two from the charity stripe. Forty six, forty five. It's a screen, kicks this one around the offense, works it down low. Now they swing it around the perimeter to the lane. The Euro step off the glass, almost turns it over. It's a screen, spins out of it on the deck, and they're gonna say he went out of bounds. And I think that means the shot clock will reset to 20 as he went out of bounds. And they're probably going to go look to see if there's any time on the clock for Richmond or will this be a shot clock violation. So they are looking right now to see if there was any time left on the shot clock. Kind of doubt it. And it looks like they will just reset the shot clock to 20. And it looks like, yep, Richmond basketball, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Off the inbound as they kick this one around. It's a screen. Gonna drive off the glass with a floater. Shot up no good. Ball going everywhere. Utah State comes up with it. Here come the Aggies. Lows a lot to the rim and he lays it in. Here come the... Oh, the Spiders bring it up and the Aggies have just taken over here to start our second half. Up the floor, kicks this one out as they swing it around the perimeter to the leg. Cross court for three. Won't go. Rebound. ASU or, or USU. 
The USU team run right now is 11 to 2, the last three to half. So since the start of the half. Atwood almost stole it away. Down to 20 to shoot now. Picks it out, fakes the three. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Better drive, passes it around, spins, dumps it down low, fades, Euro step off the glass, lays it in. Arvith had a total of five points in the first half. He's got seven here in the second through the first five minutes. On a mid-range, they kick it out. Gets a screen. Gonna drive on a step back three. Won't shoot it. Rebound in the paint. Spins. Goes off the glass. Lays it in. And before anything, we have a whistle. And a foul going against USU. We'll step aside momentarily. Back after this. 14.56 to go. Regulation. Right now, they're still technically on the run. A 13-2 run lasting over five minutes for Utah State. It's, it's still going right now. That run is still being contributed to but with every point. And that an easy two there for Golden here in the second half. His first points of our second half, I should say. So... 47 to 50. We're looking like we're going to hit a good finish here today. To the lane. Spins. Kicks this one out. Works this one down low of the paint. Bean with it. Bean going to drive baseline. Spins. Fades off the glass. Probably traveled. No call. Rebound going the other way. Up the floor. Gets a screen. Kicks. 
drive, spin, step back. Now they'll slow it down. To the lane, spins, fades. Jumps it down low and a great pass to Golden who lays it in. He's got back-to-back -back bucket. Golden's having himself a day right now. And we have a whistle and a hook and offensive foul. Going against number five. That's Ela Rock. Here we go off the inbound. Bringing up the ball here is uh, Richmond. They look to close in on this battle. 13 minutes here. Regulation. Golden kicks it out. Wide open. Haven't been able to get the shots to fall really since the start of the game. Ever since then, points have just came. Not so. Eh, kind of easy as that was knocked out of bounds. They're going to call a foul against Utah State. They're going to call this one on, it looks like, Wilson. Of which team? Wilson picks up his first quarter three. Shot up no good. Try to get an offensive board. Someone's got to grab it. Knocked out of bounds. Go in the other direction. Actually, no. They're going to say it stays here. Oh, and he bounced it. He just straight up grabbed the ball and bounced it out of bounds. You cannot do that. That's a turnover, and it's Richmond basketball again as they have a chance to tie, take the lead here on this possession. Up the floor, works it down low in the paint. Here we go, get to screen. Gonna drive, kicks it out, fakes the three, dumps it down low, spins, fades. Gonna drive off the glass. Shot up, no good. And a rebound going the other direction. And work this one down low in the paint. And we got the glass. Shot blocked on the way up. Late whistle, but there is a whistle. They're gonna call foul. Foul is against Golden. Golden will pick up his team's sixth foul already. First free throw for the line is up and good. It is now 51 to 50. And he goes two for two. Here we go off the inbound, bringing up the basketball with 12 and a half minutes to go in this one. Free throws the rest of the way for Utah State. We had to combine six fouls in the first half, three for each team. We combined nine already. They work this one around, dumps it down low with the paint. Spins, fades, kicks it out for three, doesn't shoot it, still gonna drive, kicks it to the corner, drives baseline, off the glass, kicks it out for three. Left it short. That one kind of left his hand a little weird, it looked like. Rebound going the other direction. Here we go. Gets a screen. Works this one around the perimeter. Now they're back up to center court. Gonna drive. Eurostep off the glass, and he lays it in. Great execution there for the points. Jones' first points here of the second half.
Here we go, gets a screen, dumps it down low, and Golden starting to pick up the points here. And a timeout called by Chris Moody. And Richmond, we will step aside. Timeout here on the floor, 11.21 on the clock. Back after this. Timeout, just about 11 minutes to go here in regulation of today's game. We are going to go down to the couple final possessions as there's a floater up and in. Jones once again with another basket. He's got eight points here in the second half, and both of these teams are having the exact opposite halves that they did in the first. Here we go, gets a screen, spins, puts up a jump shot, shot no good. Rebound going the other direction. Don't forget, coming up next, Navy hosting Virginia Tech to close out our doubleheader from the Naval Academy, but we still got one more game after that as we head to UCLA as they get ready to take out Villanova. Whistles and a foul. We'll step aside. Two free throws coming up when we return. Back after this.
welcome you back. Final 1025 to go in this one. We close we're getting ready to close this one out. Getting ready to shoot two free throws here from the free throw line. He's got two, just like I said. First free throw up and good. He's got one more. Second free throw, no good. He goes one for two. And the whistles. And a jump ball call. It's got to be Richmond ball anyways. But possession area will now switch. That's pretty much the only thing that changes. Fifty-one, fifty-seven. Off the inbound. Here come the. Here comes Richmond as they bring it up. Possession arrow switches over to Utah. Just about the halfway mark. Into the lane, spins deep three. No good. Balls on the deck. Utah State with it. He turns it over. Whistle and a blocking foul. Two free throws coming up. They're going to call this one on number three, which I don't know who that is. That's Ashworth who picks it up. First free throw up and good. Back to a five-point game. And second free throw up and good. So both free throws fall from the line. First points. Here we go. Works it down low. Off the glass. Lays it up and in. Ashworth with a basket. Got five on the day. In a six-point game now. Up and off. Rebound going the other direction. There we go as they work this one up the floor. That one almost stole it away. To the lane. Off the glass. Quarter three. Bang! And the lead is nine. The biggest lead of the night for ASU. Horvath with the three. And a high arcing three on the other end falls. Back to six. That one's Burton who gets the basket to go. And we got a whistle. Bodies falling everywhere. And they're going to say it's Richmond basketball, I think. What's their call here? Yeah, it looks like it might be. It will be Richmond ball. They're going to call foul. Uh, Jones, which will put the shot clock back to 30. Richmond will now grab the basketball, bring it up the floor. There we go off the inbound as they bring this up the floor.
As they spin, fades off the glass, cannot hit it. Whistle comes late, but it does blow. Two free throws coming up now here, as we will have free throws the rest of the way with 8.27 on the clock. They're going to call this one on B, and B to picks up his first, or actually his second, team six. First free throw from the line is up, and it is good. It is now 62-57. Trying to make this one a four-point game if he can hit the free throw. Shot up. Oh, and it rolls in, rolls out. Offensive rebound. Gonna drive at the baseline. Cross court for three. That's a four-point possession. It is a two-point game, and Utah State wants to talk it over. 8-10 on the clock. We will step aside. Richmond and Utah State going down to the buzzer. 62-60. Timeout. Aggies. Go. Welcome back. 60 to 62 is our score. 8 10 to go here in regulation out of the US, uh, the USU top time out. There we go as they inbound the ball. They swing this one around the perimeter. And a drive and whistles blow, and we got a foul. Shot clock will reset to 20. Actually, we're reset to 30 because we got a 1-1 one one. coming up. They're going to call this one on Wilson. That is his second. And he missed it. So coming up the floor is the Spiders. As they bring it up, kicks it out for three, shot up, and it's good. I don't know how that went in. And just like that, how the tables have turned, and Richmond has taken the lead. They 
They swing this one around the perimeter. Tedo run by Richmond. Dumps it down low. They swing it. About 10 to shoot. To the lane. Makes a move. Drive. Euro step. Ball's on the deck. Has to throw it up. Shot is blocked. And a rebound going the other direction. Here comes Richmond. There we go to the lane. Spins. Kicks this one out. Now they bring it back to the top of the key. 10 to shoot. Good job not traveling there on that Euro step. Passes it around off the glass. Hit the ground hard, but cannot hit the layup. Rebound going the other way. Up the floor. Fakes the three. Drives baseline off the glass, and he's fouled. Golden picks up his third. Tease nine. Shot clock resets to 25. Two free throws coming up here from the charity stripe as the first one is up and it is no good. Score remains right where it is. Well, we're tied now as he goes one for two from the line. 63-63. Six and a half minutes to go here in regulation as they work this one to the corner. Swings it back up top. Going to drive. In the paint. Spins. Fades off the glass. Shot is no good. And a rebound going the other way. Up the floor. Gets a screen. Going to kick it out for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Cross court. Swigs for three. No good. In and out. Back to back three. Six minutes to go here in regulation. We're tied at 63. Slow it down the tempo. Gets a screen. Kicks it out. Gonna drive. Works this one down low. To the lane, almost turns it over, spins, fades, off the glass, shot no good, offensive board. Kicks it out, off the glass, and he lays it in. Richmond back on top. Crabtree's first point to the second half. Nine offensive rebounds for Richmond, keeps them with a two-point lead. Gonna drive, spins, fades off the glass, and it's good. Scoop and score. Have yourself a second half, Jones. Almost turns it over, spins, kicks. Now they bring it back up to the top. Five minutes to go for three. Won't go. Rebound, Utah State. The Aggies bring it up inside five minutes. Up the court, off the glass, lays it in. Euro step it all. Four point swing, Utah State. Nineteen for Bean. It's a screen, kicks it out. Twenty eighth career double double for Bean as well. Mid range J will go. Rebound go the other direction. They have a chance to go by as much as five. Up the floor, gets a screen, kicks it out for three. No good. In fact, air balls right into Bean's head and he lays it in. And a timeout taken by Richmond. They have one remaining. We will take it with them. 69-65.
like big men play, then you like today's game. Our forwards in today, Golden and Bean, have combined for 35 or 45 points through this one so far with 4.13 to go here in regulation. Up the floor, bringing it up is Richmond. They have one timeout remaining, so they're going to have to use it right. I mean, they're going to I mean, they're gonna have to use it wisely. As they swig this water around the court. It's a screen, kicks it out. Oh, he had a three, didn't take it. Instead, gets it back. Now we'll shoot it. Oh, back-to-back air balls at back-to-back -back three attempts. Balls on the deck. And a jump ball. That's going to be... And it looks like it will be Utah State basketball. Navy and Virginia Tech coming up next. Do not forget a tip off at just under, what would that be? Just about 40 minutes. Yeah, just about 40 minutes. Depending on the conclusion of our contest, of course, because they're playing on the same floor. They get a good 25 minute warm up to the lane off the glass. Shot blocked. Offensive board. And the putback is good. 71 to 65. Great quarter and a great half. It's a screen and a drive to the lane. Spins, kicks this one out. As they swing it up top for three, Gilliard, bang! That's a big three with three minutes remaining. 71-68. Yeah, there's a three. Able to get that one off quick. And shot no good on another three. Two and a half minutes to go and a six-point lead for Utah State. As they bring this one up the floor. Bead from downtown. 26 for the walk on. Quarter three, stolen away. Utah State has it. Final minute and a half to go here in regulation. Gets a screed, get a drive, quarter three, in and out. Offensive board stripped away. They need points on this possession, down nine. Steps into it. Gilliard, no. Rebound, Utah State. This game is all about runs, and they're going to foul. Wilson to pick up his third. Should two free throws. Two free throws the rest of the way. And the first free throw up a good. And then a turnover on the other end. And I think that one just might do it. The fresh 30 on the clock now. 
It looks like they might foul here. They're able to get this one up the court. And they'll foul. Bean is the one who gets fouled. He's not really a guy you want to put on the line. Wilson pick. Oh, no, actually, it's not Wilson. Is it on? Oh, no, it is on Wilson. Wilson picks up number four. Two free throws coming up. I'm guessing this one's over if he could hit one of them. Well, it will definitely be over if he could hit both. Is what a pull away here by Utah State. It is a 13 point lead. They have just dominated the second half. There's the three, though. And the final timeout, which is only a minute, will be used here by the by Richmond. We'll step aside for just a minute. Ten point game. out of the timeout 49.6 seconds to go here in this one game one of our triple header here we go up the court able to get it somewhere and beads gonna dunk it they'll run the court in transition up the floor kicks it out gonna have to get a shot off quick they're wasting a lot of clock and out a foul Gonna call this out 22. That's Miller's first of the game. That is not Miller. That is Miller's first foul of the game. That is their seventh team, a one and one coming up at the line. Makes the first free throw. Back to an 11 point game. Uh, he misses, though, but an offensive rebound. Has to just throw up a shot. Does not go. And a whistle. And they're going to call foul. 25.7 on the clock. No more shot clock. And that one looks like that's going to do it. Bailey to pick it up. His second. As Navy gets ready to play their game against Virginia Tech in about 32 minutes from right now. First free throw for the line is up and good.
And one, so it's a one for two trip from the line. And this will be the last possession for Richmond. Makes a move. Going to drive off the glass. Cannot lay it in. Rebound offensive. Just going to hoist a three. No good. Rebound Utah State. And they're going to call a jump ball, which means it's Richmond ball. Six seconds exactly on the clock. Richmond will get this ball back out for the final six seconds, which doesn't really do anything. What a win for Utah State. Off the inbound to the lane. It'll let them lay it in. Yeah, they won't do anything. And that will do it. That's your final score, 85-74. Well, what happened? So, Utah State outscored Richmond 84-31 in the second half. That's how you win ball games. We get ready for Virginia Tech and Navy. They tip off in just about 30 minutes. We'll set you to tip off when we get there 30 minutes from now.
We welcome you back to game number two here today in our Veterans Classic at the U.S. Naval Academy. Assemble Alumni Hall, Annapolis, Maryland. Welcome back to college basketball. And we're just about ready to tip off game number two. These two teams had... Are gonna, I don't think anyone can top the, the, uh, the game that we just saw. But if you can, I am here for it. Richmond took down their opponent in... Or no, sorry. Utah State took down Richmond through their, their first time through the order. Navy is going to definitely be ranked if they can come out and take care of business here today. I just want to kind of know right now what's going on with Ohio State. Ohio State led by one at halftime. They're starting to pull away a little bit. They're up by eight over i don't even know what this school is it's a nigerian college or whatever we're just about ready to go honestly this game is either not going to be close at all or going to be or going to co go exactly like our last game Now let's talk a little bit about Navy. Of course, Tuesday at Virginia, the Mission Men, they just blew it away. They blew out of the water. It was an outstanding performance of college basketball in a 66-58 win. I don't know what else to say except Carter's going to have to have another game like he did. Like he did. It's just simple. Kind of simple stuff. Got to have another game like you just did. Well, can Navy win against the ACC top schools? That starts with Virginia Tech. Tip off coming up next between Virginia Tech and Navy.
we welcome you back here to today's game. We're just about ready to tip it off from Alumni Hall in Annapolis, Maryland, home of the Naval Academy. The veteran classic history in its eighth year, 23 different teams have participated, including a highest ranked team, number one, North Carolina, Defeated Temple by pretty much 30. Navy has participated in all eight seasons. They've won three of the last four. Participants have reached the final four. Two of them. Michigan State and North Carolina. And we're just about ready to get things rolling. This place is loud and electric. This is a home game for Navy. Their student section is in the crowd. And it's time to tip things off. Just any in any any moment now, we're gonna be tipping things off. Starters on the floor. Clock has been reset to twenty, and we're just about ready to go between this Navy and Virginia Tech team. Let's look at our starting lineup for Virginia Tech: Murray, Cartour, Aline, Mutz, and Alama. While Navy brings out a Yordur, Carter Jr., Summers, Nelson, Endeavors, Starter, lineup. Mike Young in his third season as Virginia Tech head coach, 2021 ACC Coach of the Year, 32-23 overall. Navy breaks their huddle. This Navy basketball roster, I don't know if it's exactly accurate, but it is 23 players deep. Ed DeShills in his 11th season, 130 and 169. He was the 2021 Patriot League Coach of the Year. So, I mean, they can win. And we are ready for tip. And we are on our way. The whites for Virginia. The whites are the whites for Navy. The maroon and orange for Virginia. And Virginia will start with the ball. So we're on our way. And we start this game with a turnover. Up the floor. Lays it in. And our first points of the game come on a layup for Navy. Devers is the one who picks up the first points. 14 turnovers on opening night for Virginia. They're going to have to clean that up, and their big men's can help with that if they could just work the paint a little bit. 2-2 Two -two is our score. It's a screen. Tries working this one down low. It gets it there. Spins out of the paint. Going to drive baseline. Euro step off the glass. Kicks it out. This Virginia Tech defense showing to start on a great back cut. A whistle and a traveling violation. Virginia Tech basketball. Ten season. Or, uh, ten seed last year. They lost opening round to Florida. There we go, gets a screen, kicks this one out. Get our drive to the lane. Spins, kicks it out in the paint. Works this one down low. Cross court for three. It is good. That was shot clock winding down at everything. Cartour from downtown. So they work this one around. Gets a screen. And a drive a quarter three. No good. Rebound Virginia Tech. They push this one to transition. Just about two minutes into our first half. Gets a screen. Gonna drive to the lane. Off the glass. Lays it up and lays it in. Murphy with the bucket. 
7-2 early. Virginia Tech hasn't missed. So they work this one around. Gets a screen. Kicks it out. Now sets an actual screen. Fakes a three. Works it down low in the paint. It's a bad pass and a turnover. There we go. They work this one up the floor. Gets a screen. Kicks it out. Dumps it down low. The floater off the glass. Shot up no good. Whistles blow. We have a foul on the play. With that foul, two free throws coming up. Yoder picks this one up. His first. His first. That's the first foul of today's game. This will put them up 9-2. If he could hit both. Our keys to the game for Virginia Tech. Their defense on the threes. They, have, they, have, they did not have a good time doing that. Especially in the rebounding category. And that's why we have to talk about Navy. Because they also cannot rebound it that well. Two for two from the line. Here comes Navy bringing this one up in a seven point game. It's a screen and a deep three. Shot up, no good. Rebound going the other direction. Up the floor comes Virginia Tech. Gets a screen, got a drive. Works it down low. The paint off the glass. Whistle and a foul. And Aluna will go to the free throw line here with 17 exactly on the clock. First free throw is up and good. First team to double digits is VT. Second free throw coming up. Up and good. Four points of the day for Alumna. 11-2 early Virginia Tech over Navy. Virginia Tech has came out and hit the floor running. That foul, by the way, on Navy was on Dever. The one that has all their points. Kicks this out, going to drive the floater. Whistle and a foul. Free throws now coming up for Virginia Tech. as they are Well, coming up for Navy as the foul is against Virginia Tech, 16-39. Remaining in our first half, an 11-2 contest. First free throw by Yoder is up and good. Second one follows the first. Yoder makes this one a 4-11 game. First sub of the game goes to Navy as they'll sub a couple guys in and out. A half-court trap offense is the kind of thing that they're going to have to look for as an ice slam. There you go, big man. It's 4-13. to Mutz with a great cut to the basket of Virginia Tech still has it missed. 13-4. Gets a screen, kicks the swat out to the lane. Got a drive in the paint. Spins, fades off the glass with a floater, no good. Rebound, Virginia Tech. Up the floor they come. To the lane, spins with a whistle and a foul. That will take us to a media timeout. Free throws, free throws, free throws in a 13-4 game. Virginia Tech over Navy so far.
welcome you back out of the timeout. 15.52 to go. We're in regulation of our first half. It is a 15 to... Uh, it is a 13 to 4 game. Virginia Tech at the line to shoot two to make it 15 to 4. If you can hit them both. First free throw from the line. Up and good. Second free throw up and good. The lead is back to double digits. It is 11. Six of those 15 go to Alumna. They work this one around the floor. The screen kicks it to the big man. Big man hands it off to the lane. Spins off the glass. Uh, kicks it out. Good defense here by Virginia Tech. To the quarter for three. No good. And a rebound going to the Huggies. UCLA and Villanova follow at 11.30. As they kick this out, gets a screen, going to drive behind the back pass. Good ball movement. Blocked at the rim. Up the floor, Cubs. Uh, yeah. Up the floor, Cubs. Up the floor, Cubs, Navy. As they swing this one around the perimeter. That one's stolen. Up the floor, Euro step off the glass and lays it in. A quick eight on the day now for Alumna. The third turnover of the night for Navy. Seven points off turnovers for Virginia Tech. Dumps this down low, gets a screen, kicks it out. Fakes a three, passes it to the corner, dumps it down low in the paint. That one almost turned over right to a mid-range jump shot that falls. Yoder hits the mid-range. It's 17 to 6. So they kick and work this one down low. Gets a screen, kicks it out. Makes a three. Now we'll shoot the three. And it just rolls out. Offensive board. They save it. Dumps it down low. I don't know exactly what that was. Probably called it a jump shot. Here we go. Gets a screen. Gonna drive to the lane. Spins. Fades for three. Off the side of the backboard. And a whistle. Whistle a foul going against Navy in a 17-6 game. Here we go. The foul is on Yoder. That is his second. Gonna have to be careful. To the lane, the Euro off the glass lays it in. Cartoon with another layup. He's got five now in a 19 to six game. As they get a screen, work this one around. Navy shooting two for seven compared to the seven for nine shooting of Virginia. And three there, no good. Rebound going the other way. Seven minutes into quarter number one, or half number one. And another three. Time out, Navy. As it's all ACC so far. Cartor forces the Navy timeout.
The November success. They've won 19 of their last 22 November games. 31 and 7 since 2015 in November. 51 and 14 since 2011. They look to pass it in. 1258 to go here in regulation. First half of action, Virginia Tech. And Navy. Here we go. Gets his screen. Going to drive. Kicks this one out. To the lane. To the corner. Mid-range. That's good. That's what you want to see. On a, on a catch and shoot. Eight points. The full court press. Not full court press. The three-quarter press starts to come here from Navy. They kick this one down low. Gets a screen. Kicks it out. Fakes a three. Now they swing it around. Cross court. Fakes a three. Get a drive. Spins. Fakes. Fouled. He'll go to the line. Two free throws. Cub it up. As with 12 10 on the clock, Navy has picked up their 15 foul. Roach picks this one up. That's his first. Tomorrow, we're back to college football triple headers. As it goes for, as, as we start our day between Oklahoma and Baylor at noon, followed by a 3.30 kick of Purdue and Ohio State before finishing the day at 7, as it will be Ole Miss taking on Texas A&M. Coverage starts at 11.30, kickoff shortly past noon for our college football triple header. Here we go, gets a screen, works this one around, get a drive and a whistle and an offensive foul. Takes a charge. And they're going to call that one against Nelson. That it puts Virginia Tech in the bonus. Well, every starter now has a foul. Next whistle takes us to a timeout. It's a screen, kicks this one down low. Heads it off. Gonna drive, and I think they're gonna call travel. Yes, they are. Timeout on the floor, 11.50 to go. First half, 22 to eight, Virginia Tech over Navy.
we go. Welcome back. 22 to 8 is our score. Navy brings up the ball. This has been all Virginia Tech so far. Just all Virginia Tech. That one is stolen away, but they call a foul. And we're going to stay here. This one is going against Virginia Tech. Shot clock will reset to 20. First foul of the game against Alumna. That is their second team foul. 16 fouls against Navy. As they swing this one around the offense. Kicks it out for three. There you go. And there's a three. Cuts the lead at half. 11-22 is our score. It's a screen. Kicks this out. Gonna drive. Euro step behind the back. Spins. Fades. Gets a screen. Th for three. Bang. I'm gonna see. I don't do they call that a three? Do they call that a two? Is the question. They are gonna call that a three. Nope, they actually did call it a two. Murphy's jumper. Calls it a two, 11 to 24. Gets a screen, kicks this one out. I don't want to drive to the lane, spins, and a whistle. Whistle and a foul comes with three seconds on the shot clock. Now it'll reset to 20. The lady will pick up number two, number one. I'm so excited for Virginia and or not, for Villanova and UCLA coming up next as they dump this one down low in the paint. Spins, goes off the glass, can lay that one in, and it's back to 11. As it looks like they're starting to figure something out. Carter, which who is their best player, is the only one who has not scored for Navy. Spins, fades, left-handed jump shot, no good. Rebound going the other direction. This will put us under halfway through our first half. Ten minutes to go. It's a screen. Kicks this one out to the lane. And we got a whistle and an offensive foul. Second foul on Carter. And a one on the clock. Second foul, team seventh. Off the inbound, here comes Virginia Tech bringing it up. It's a screen, kicks it out. They don't want to drive, kicks it down low. In the paint, cross court for three. It's a deep three. It's no good. Kind of got ran into at the end, but no call. So they go the other way with it. Up the floor, drives right by the defense and lays it in. Back to a single-digit game. Summer with another basket. Here we go, gets a screen, get a drive off the glass. Can't lay it in as it rolls off the front of the rim. Here comes, use, or here comes Navy bringing it up. They're on a 9-2 run. Trying to cut this thing to seven or possibly six. Gets a screen. Hands it off. Swings this one down low in the paint. Got a drive in the paint. Spins. Tries to make a move off the glass. Lays it up and in. That's an 11 2 run now for Navy. 24 17. They swing this one around, down lower to the paint, off the glass, set a whistle to foul. Two free throws coming up now from the line for Virginia Tech. Deaver picks this up. Dever, sorry, Dever picks this up. 
First free throw up and good. Back to an eight point game. And he goes two for two for the line. They get ready to inbound this one. It is a nine point game. They work this one around back to the top of the key. Swigs this one down low, spins to the lane, kicks it out for three, shot up, will go. And a rebound saves it from going out of bounds. Here comes Navy. Here comes Virginia Tech. Up the floor. Gets a screen. Gets double teamed. Kicks it out. They swing it for three. That was an excellent possession with great ball movement. Twenty-nine seventeen. Ball stolen away by VT. Up the floor they come. It's a screen to the lane. Off the glass. Shot is blocked. Kicks it out for three. No good. Second effort. And Justin Mutz forces the second Navy timeout. And the lead is back to 14. We'll step aside back after this. What a dunk. Get above the rim, big fella. 31, 17. Here we go. Welcome back out of the timeout. 31 17 is our score. 7 23 to go in regulation. There we go off the inbound. Navy brings it up. Navy's already used two timeouts. You won't see them use one for a while now. 7-0 run the last minute and a half for Virginia Tech. That's how quickly they can get up and down the floor sometimes. Swigs this one around the offense. Gets a screen. Going to drive to the lane. Kicks it out. Ball knocked out of bounds off Virginia Tech. Going to stay here with nine to shoot.
Here we go off the inbound. Down to six to shoot. Gets a screen. Got a drive. Quarter three. No good. And an offensive board. Now stolen away. Here comes Virginia Tech. Oh, he wanted to step into a three. But doesn't. Gets a screen. Going to drive. Euro step. Floater off the glass. Lays it in. Virginia Tech starting to pull away. Murphy's got six. Wow. Eastern Michigan and Illinois State went to double overtime, and it was a 103-98 win for uh, Eastern Michigan. That's a maxion right there, college basketball style. They work this one down low. Spins, fades. I, well, I don't even know how he got that shot off that he missed. And a three. That's a big shot. Gives him a little bit of momentum. Only down 13 now. Walker with the three. Here we go. Gets a screen. Got a drive off the glass. And he lays it in. I don't know how he got that one up and in, but he did. That's Okogo. Gets a basket there. 35 20 is our score. And we got a whistle. They call a foul. Shot, shot clock resets. Maddox is the one who picks it up. That's their team's fourth. His first. Here we go. Gets a screen. Looks to dump this one down low. Instead, they do actually get it to him in an easy dunk for the big man. Twenty-two thirty-five. 35 Works this one down low. That one's stolen away by the other end. To the lane. The reverse. City's fouled. Two free throws coming up, four, uh, 442 to go in regulation. Two free throws coming up from the line as they pick up their fifth straight foul. It is a foul on Virginia Tech. Waiting for them to confirm who this foul was on for Virginia Tech as he misses the first free throw. They call this one. Oh, maybe that's his second. He goes one for two. They're on the line. It is just about four and a half minutes to go. It's a screen, gonna drive deep three for the logo pretty much and he gets it to go. Kotor right. has three threes and 11 points. 20 seconds on the play clock. Four for eight on threes is this team of Virginia Tech. Okies, it's a screen, gonna drive, now they slow it down. They calm down the offense, throws up a three, air balls, rebound Virginia Tech. Up the floor they go, inside four minutes to go, first half. Navy, Virginia Tech, Veterans Classic. It's a screen, hands this one off, gonna drive, kicks it out. They swing this one around the middle. Deep three, in the corner no good. They go the other way with it now. 
Closing in on three minutes. And that one just rolls off the front of the rim. An easy layup, and they cannot finish on that opportunity. It's a screen cross court for three. No good. And now that we're inside three minutes, we close, we're looking to close this out. And D3 there, right with a defender in his face, doesn't hit it. As they bring this one up the floor. It's a screen, kicks this one out for a three. Doesn't shoot it, now they'll pass it to the corner. Mid-range J, dumps it down low and a reach in. And that will take us to a timeout. We will step aside. Free throws will be returned 38-23. Here we go. Welcome back. Final 224. Here are the first half. Okay, well, free throws coming up here for Virginia Tech. He's got two to shoot, 224 on the clock. First free throw up and good. This will give him 40 points, give them 40 points. So with both free throws falling there, it keeps them their lead pretty solid of 17. Back to 15 with a nice floater from the big man. That is 40 to 25 now. The big men in both games have just carried. And it's kind of happening here again. And then there's a jump shot there by Couture. 13 on the day for him. And 
Inside two minutes to go in the first half. Gets a screen, going to drive, and a whistle, and a foul. Looks like they'll call this one against... Looks like they'll call this one against Virginia Tech. Minute 35 on the clock. Here we go off the inbound as they swing this one around the perimeter. It's a screen. Going to drive to the lane. Sidestep. Oh, you got to shoot that if you're wide open. He doesn't, though, and then creates a bad pass. Another foul. Katora will pick this one up. Free throws the rest of the way now for, for, for Navy. Is that their seventh team foul? One and one from the charity stripe. A minute 20 to go. And no good. Rebound going the other direction. That one's stolen away. Up the floor. Euro step and a whistle and a blocking foul. And they're going to call this one against 22. 22 is alum. His alumna he picks up is second. Two free uh, one and one coming up from the line. There's free throw up and good. Second one up and good. Back to a 15 point game. One minute to go here in the first half. Inside one minute to go in the first half. Here we go, gets a screen, dumps this one down low, kicks it out for three, won't go. Rebound going the other direction, just about to be inside 30 seconds. As they work this one around, gets a screen, step back, doesn't shoot the three. I'm gonna drive, makes a move, now they slow it down. Cross court, fakes the three, that one on the deck. Virginia Tech comes away with it with 13 seconds left. Up the floor comes Virginia Tech. They're going to slow this down in a 42-27 game. Five seconds. Step back. Three. He got it. And they're going to let that take us to the halftime. He knew what he wanted to do, and it worked to perfection. We have hit halftime here between Virginia Tech and Navy from the Naval Academy Alumni Hall Veterans Classic. And halftime starts right now.
welcome you back to the Veterans Classic from the Naval Academy for the Navy of Virginia Tech game of the Veterans Classic. It was it's been, it was a very uh, how should I put it well balanced first half. Had some fouls, had some threes, had some runs by both sides. The balanced first half. That's the best way, the best and the only way I'm gonna put it. Our statistics for the first half, it's the three-point line. I'm only, the only thing I'm going to talk about. Five for 11 for three is Virginia Tech. Two for 11 from three is Navy. They got to fix that. Cartour with 13. Nelson with seven. So we're 20 minutes back on the clock, and we're just about ready to go. Both offices back on the field. It's a lot more full here inside. I wonder, there was like, there wasn't that many people here for our first game, but I bet the tickets were saved for Navy people who were coming. So 27-45 is what we'll be dealing with to start our second half. Off the inbound, here comes Navy bringing up the basketball as we're on our way here in our second half. They work this ball around, gets a screen, tries working it down low. And uh, there's an easy layup on a nice spin. He's able to get around the defense and everything. 29-45 is our score. Six points for Yodor. They work this one around. Gets a screen and whistle and a foul. Here we go off the inbound as they work this one around. Here we go to the lane, spins, kicks this one out, 10 to shoot in a 29-45 contest. They spin this one around. There's a three. It is roll it in and roll it out. They swing this one around the perimeter. Here comes Virginia now as they bring it up. Minute and a half, just about a minute and a half in to the lane, spins, kicks this one out. They swing this one around the outside. I don't want to drive to the lane on a mid-range jumper. Uses the backboard and everything. We just can't finish a shot. Here we go up the floor. Gets a screen. Gonna drive the step back. Hands it off to the lane. Spins. Kicks it down low of the paint. Goes off the glass and lays it in. The first two buckets of the half go to Virginia. Or go against Virginia Tech, I should say, as Navy works down low to start us off. As they work this one around in the paint now, gets a screen, trying to body him up. It's a mismatch down low, and it's going to go in favor of Navy as he misses the layup. Up the floor comes Navy. Navy shooting two for three to start, kicks it out. Dever to the lane. Dever off the glass. Dever's shot is blocked. And they're going to transition. It's a screen. Going to drive on a step back. Now a side step. Now they slow it down. <coughs> Kicks it out. Step back. Jay won't go. Offensive board as they swing it. Kicks for three. Wide open. Won't hit it though. Rebound go the other direction. Up the floor. Euro step. It is blocked. And that's a goaltending. Let's go to number five, which is Nelson. Nelson has his first points of the half. The first six points go of the quarter or of the half go to Navy. It's a 12-point game just like that. Here 
Here we go. Gets the screen. Works this one down low. In the paint. Kicks it down low. Off the glass. Lays it up. Shot no good. Second effort does go. 47-33 now. That's a big shot there by the big man. So they swing this one around the perimeter. Dumps it down low in the paint. Now they take it out to the three-point line. Looks for a backdoor cut. Instead, will pass it out to the lane. Off the glass with a floater. Shot up no good. Saves this one from going out of bounds. And they're going up the floor. Here comes Virginia Tech. Gets a screen on a drive. Euro step off the glass. That one is stolen away. They kick this out for three. Shots up. Will go. Offensive board. And a whistle. And with a whistle and a foul. And two free throw. Uh, they'll probably call it on the floor. So I doubt this free throws involved. Fresh 20 out of shot clock. Sub comes in for Virginia Tech. Three fouls against. Three fouls against Alumna. Throws this one into the backcourt. Here comes Navy bringing it up. They trail by 14. They, Navy has scored the first six of eight points in this half. Combined. Takes a three to the lane. Off the glass. Blocked out of bounds. It will stay on this end of the floor. Four seconds to shoot when we return on the shot clock at a 47-35-33 game. Welcome you back at a 33 to 47 ball game. Here we got the inbound. Only three seconds to shoot, and they're able to get points out of it on a nice floater.
Able to get this one in bounds in a 12 point game. Dever with the basket. Dever's got four here in the second half. It's a 12 point game. 15 and a half to play in regulation of game two of three here today on a Friday night. To the lane, no one picks up the ball handle, and he's able to pass it down low to the big man. And he's able to get a layup out of that one. Ogajo with the basket. Ojako? Ojako? Something like that. They get a screen and a mid range jumper. Well, he didn't even jump, and he still hit that basket. A mid range shot, I should just say. There's no jump involved in that at all. First points of the night for Carter as well. A whistle and an offensive foul. A whistle, offensive foul, his first of the day. Cost their team's second foul of the quarter slash half. Here he goes, they get by the ball. They work this one down low in the paint. Spins. Has to do something with it. And he turns it over almost. Nine to shoot. Three ball for the corner. No good. Carter has been ice cold. Makes a move, gets a screen, gonna drive to the lane, spins, fades, kicks it out. Good pass down low, off the glass, can't lay it in. Offensive board and a whistle. Yorder picks up number three. It looks like they may make him take a seat. Nope, it looks like, right now it looks like they'll keep him in. There we go, off the inbound, a mid-range J shot, no good, and a whistle. No whistle, actually, here comes Navy. Up the floor, gets him, slip it, no, tip it, no, second effort on a tip it, no, third effort on a tip it, no, and they got a foul. They got a reach in, that's, the, that's on 25, that's on Mutz, that's his first. Navy could cut it to 10 if they could hit both of these free throws with 13. 47 to go here in regulation. First free throw for the line is good. Second free throw up and good. Ten point game, 13-47 to go here in regulation. Game treads, one tie, one lead change. Biggest lead is Virginia Tech by 18. Up the floor, gets a screen, hand checked, whistle and a foul. This will be on 15. 15 would be, where is he? This is on Roach's second. Team second. Here are the second half. 13 37 here to go in game two of our triple header. As they work this one around, gets a screen, kicks it out. To the lane, Euro step off the glass, up it, can't get it to go. <coughs> 51 39 now. 
That was a great shot. That's the second foul on Kajoko. And he hits the free throw. So the lead is back up to 13. They swing this one around. Gets a screen. Tries a three. Shot up no good. Rebound Virginia Tech as they run in transition. Up the floor they go. Gets a screen. Kicks it out. Tries to get it down low. It's that out to the big man. And he drills the three. Mott's back-to-back threes. What a three-point play. It won an actual three, and it forces a timeout. Timeout, Navy. It's mobile. It's, uh, they have one remaining. We'll step aside. Timeout. Carter struggling tonight. He's done nothing. And I, when I mean nothing, I mean nothing. I did say he actually scored once. He did not. I just said the wrong person. He has not scored. Yeah, zero points tonight. 0 for 7. Just not a night that you want to really have. Off the inbound, 13 minutes to go here in regulation. There we go, gets a screen, tries working this one down low, kicks it out for three, shot up, won't go. Rebound for Davey as they save it right into a Virginia Tech player's hands. Shot's blocked, knocked out of bounds. I think that one should be going the other direction. They're going to keep it on this end. Fresh, just about 20 seconds. Now here we go off the inbound. Swings this one around the court. Mid-range jump shot, but before ever anything of that, before anything, whistle and a foul. They are going to call this one on Navy. And the player they're going to call it on is yet to be announced. They're going to call the foul on Yoder. That's his fourth. And 
And there's a three on the other end. What a night. Nine, a, a quiet 9-0 run here by Virginia Tech. It was 49-39, now it's 58-39. They work this one around the perimeter, gets a screen, got a drive, kicks it out for three, shot up, and it's no good. Wide open, two. Offensive board as it goes out of bounds. It's going the other direction. 12.02 to go here in regulation of game two. Not as exciting as game one, but it's been pretty well. Here we go, gets a screen, kicks it out for three, shot up will go. Rebound going the other direction. We have a whistle. Oh, they're gonna call an offensive foul. Crowd doesn't like it, they're booing. We'll step aside. 11.38 to go. Navy trying not to go 0-1, while Virginia Tech trying to go 2-0. Welcome back. 11.39 to go here in regulation of today's game. Game two of our triple header. Off the inbound. Off the inbound, here comes Virginia Tech bringing up the basketball. That foul, by the way, was on Summer, his first. He's fifth. 11 and a half minutes to go here in regulation. They kick this one out to the lane off the glass, and we got a whistle. Whistle and a foul, and two free throws. I'm guessing they're going to call that in the act of shooting. So two free throws. Coming up here, Dever picks it up this time. And then once again, pretty early in the half, just like the first half, free throws coming up for Virginia the rest of the way. It is a 20-point game now, 39-59.
And he goes two for two. Lead is now 21 in a 60 to 39 ball game. They work this one around, gets a screen, gonna drive, kicks it out to the lane, the step back, now works it to the corner. In the paint, spins, fades, cross court for three, shots up and shots no good, offensive board in the second effort. 41 to 60, they almost steal the inbound pass. Just about 11 minutes, just under 11 minutes to play here in regulation. We've had a fun one here tonight in our Veterans Classic. By the way, that last bucket by Navy was by Carter, which... Steps and step, kicks it out for two, kicks it, kicks it, threes it, misses it. Ball's on the deck. Virginia comes up with it. Now Navy comes up with it. Now Virginia comes up with it on a steal. Here comes Virginia bringing it up. To the lane, spins, kicks, wide open, cross court, steps into it. Off the glass, lays it in. Well, I'm not playing himself a very good game right now. Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 points on the day. And the layup on the other end. Puts this inside. Puts this back inside 20. That puts this back inside 20 by number 20. Silva getting his first minutes of the day. Actually, that was Summer who got his points. Look at the wrong number. Silva with the pass. Off the floor, gets a screen. Now they slow it down. And slowing it down on the offensive end a little bit the last few possessions. As Navy's trying to, trying to get a good shot, we have a whistle blown. Here we go, throws a lob to the rim. Now they'll swing it back out as they swing this one around. This will put us under nine minutes to go here in regulation. Off the glass of the floater and he's fouled. Exactly nine minutes on the clock. The seventh, not the seventh, the fourth foul going against Virginia Tech. I'll call it an alumna, that's his fourth. He'll have to come out here with 60 in a 62-43 game with exactly nine minutes to go. They'll probably put him on the bench. He's got four fouls, so I'm guessing that's they're gonna have to do that after this first free throw. First free throw up and good, 44-62. Louisville lost to Berman. That was a lob to the rim. A gentle alley-oop and a monster slam because of it. Here we go. Gets a screen. Going to drive off the glass. Whistles blow before the shot. And a foul is called. Two free throws coming up now. Summer picks up the first free throw as he hits it. Couture hits up his second foul.
And the second free throw, no good. He goes one for two for the line. Eight and a half minutes to go here in regulation. I like it. All I like. Corner three, up and no good. This should put us under eight minutes to go, depending on the tempo of this possession. I love college basketball. I'm just going to throw a couple numbers out for you. Well, not numbers, some, some, some games that were played today and outcomes of those games. Louisville, who was picked and projected to pick either second or third to finish in the ACC. They just lost at home to Furman. To Furman. They're predicted to pick third to last in their conference. And then the Oakland Grizzlies out of the Horizon League just went on the road and beat Oklahoma State. That's college basketball for you. Then Oklahoma, then uh, Arizona State last night lost on a buzzer beater three to a D2 school. I think they're D2 at least. I mean, there's been a couple upsets tonight. And an easy floater there. The tour is starting to pick it up point-wise here in this one. 67-68, corner three, no good. And Carter again just missing wide-open shots after wide-open shots. And another thing right now. Where's the game? Where's the game? Where's the score? And a 7.04 to go. We'll give you a few more upsets going around college basketball when we return. Time out. A few more games that I was looking at during the break. I, even though it wasn't an upset, I got to say that um, Little Rock, Little Rock won 115 to 51 today. Honestly, a lot of normal scores. A lot of normal scores around the league. Pretty much all the games right now are pretty normal. 
I'm guessing Nebraska is only up by four to, I don't even know, Sam Houston. I guess who that is, is that one's knocked out of bounds. Going the other way, 6.51 to go, Navy ball in a 67-48 ball game. Marquette and New Hampshire are currently tied at 58 with eight minutes to go. Texas A&M is on, up on Albany Christian, up by two, it's 25 seconds to go in overtime. And of course, coming up next, number four, Nova taking on UCLA. That one follows us. 11.30 tip, so about an hour and 15 minutes from now is when we tip our final game. Whistle and a foul on the other end. Navy's going to shoot a pair of free throws. They're going to call this one on Nagusman. I'm honestly really excited. It's an 11 o'clock tip between Stanford and Santa Clara. That game is going to be, I think, good. It could go down to one of the final shots. So let's look at our Patriot League preseason polls, which is where this Navy team is. They're finished. They're picked to finish third. Boston University picked to finish for, first. Ah, you can really never tell with some of these polls. Both free throws. Bing and bang from the line. Back to 17. Six and a half minutes to go in our second period. Nelson knocked down both free throws. Nelson's the one who hit them both. Here we go. Gets his screen. Gonna drive. Kicks this one out. They swing it around the perimeter. Now they slow things down. To the lane, gonna drive, baseline, spins, cross court, as they swing it, one to shoot, off the glass, lays it in, and one, with six minutes to go, and they have a chance to go back up 20, with an and one free throw, coming up with a great drive. Oh, I just found another game that's in upset mode right now. I don't even know. Brown University is up 59 to 56 over North Carolina. What is happening to college basketball, man? I love it. BYU San Diego State's going on right now. That's going to be a very good game. I'm waiting for them to tell me one who the foul was on. We're going to call this one on Nelson. And then another foul right on the other end against North Carolina. Nelson picks up his second. They're going to call us at 25. And Mutz will pick up number two. First free throw. Is up. And it is good. 69-51. Five forty-eight to go here in regulation. Some sort of pressure coming here from Navy. Nelson knocked down both. He's having himself a pretty good day. They get a screen, kicks this one down low in the paint, spins off the glass, shot up no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Gonna stand. top of the key 520 to play a deep three up and no good and a rebound going the other direction they work this one around kicks it down low in the paint spins off the glass has to do something with it and a foul two free throws coming up though it's gonna be a long night if they can just keep following each other back and forth Mutz picks up number three
So if we look at the AP top 10, I can tell you there's gonna there's four teams in this top 10 that I do not think will be. So we got a foul. like close like 13 14 but they're not think probably top 10 a 71-52 game. Also, I want to say Texas may not be ranked. Chance Kansas may not be. I don't know. You got a lot of games. You got 40 games to play. You got to win about 38 of them. Sort of foul. 340 is the number. It's a 19 point game, so not that close.
go. Welcome. Welcome back to the final 340. You're in regulation. It looks like you're one of your player of the games. Is it going to be Illumina? 18.6 rebounds. 10 for 10 on free throws tonight. Your team's winning if you are 10 for 10 on free throws for the night. You just, you got to know that. Free throw one is up in no good of part of the one and one. He misses. Rebound go the other way. Three and a half minutes to go as we get ready to close out our night of uh, vet and veteran classic games. Fifty-two, seventy-one. They're gonna start slowing these possessions down. This will get us close to that three-minute mark. To the lane, off the glass, just threw it at the rim, and a rebound going to Virginia Tech. They'll take their sweet time getting this one up the court. As a little bit of a full-court press comes here from Navy. A couple subs get ready to come in for both teams. As they work this one down low, spins, fades off the glass, up it good. And he's able to lay that one in. 73-52 is our score. Aluna with another basket. And the stats here as he gets ready to close out his night. Here we go. Gets a screen. Going to drive on a step back. Cross court. Tries working this one down low of the paint. Spins. Fades off the glass. Lays it in. 73. Now 54. Deep three doesn't actually shoot it. About 15 seconds to go. This will get us close, if not under two minutes. So the lane spins, kicks it out for three. Shots up, shots no good, and a Navy rebound. They push this one in transition. It's a screen, kicks this out. Gonna drive, now they slow it down. Minute 40 to go in regulation. To the lane, spins, kicks for three. It is good. Carter starting to warm up at the wrong time. As it looks like we got a substitution timeout. Just a quick 30 second. Virginia Tech could come to schedule. They got Radford and then St. Francis. Mary Mac Memphis, the NIT season tip-off tournament. And then they got Maryland for the Big Ten ACC Classic. Eight challenge. Which, speaking of that, I know he will at least have a double header on both days of the first and the second. Or the... It was the 31st in the, or the 30th in the first and the second. I don't remember the days. I know one of the games is going to be Michigan State and Louisville, which is going to set up to be an outstanding matchup as Michigan State won by 50. Um, I think it was 51 today. I don't exactly remember off the top of my head. Deep three. No good. Rebound going the other way as we're inside a minute. Up the floor. And it leads to a dunk. Another substitution timeout for Virginia Tech, just 30 seconds. We look at Navy's upcoming schedule now. They got to play Monday at Louisville. Then they got Radford, Furman, who just beat Louisville. They got Washington, Maryland. Then they got uh, Mount, Mount St. Mary's, and then they got Vermont. So not a hard schedule, but probably for them it's a little difficult. We got Spids, kicks this one to the quarter for three. Shots up, won't go. And they will let this one wind its way down. No more shot clock. And this one is officially going to be over with. So a 77-57 win for Virginia Tech in game two of our triple header. They will have an exactly one hour intermission in between games. Seventy-seven, fifty-seven is your final. 
And a great way to close out our second of three here on our Friday night. We'll see you out in Los Angeles, California, Villanova and LSU. No, Villanova and UCLA coming up at 11.30. Just about an hour. Get a little break. We'll see you in a little bit. 57-77 final. That's it for the Veterans Classic. And then we'll see you out west for UCLA and Villanova.
You think UCLA students are fired up? They were sitting outside 11 hours early. Noon. Oh, no. What time is it there? It's 8.30 tip off there. So what would that be? It would be, I don't know, just too many hours. Welcome to number two, Villanova. Welcome to number two, number four. We are back, baby. College basketball includes on a Friday night from UCLA. Oh my gosh, this is what you want to see. The college basketball season returns in primetime fashion. And we start with the top five matchup. And we are back. Welcome to a sold out crowd. It's a whiteout here at UCLA. And we are just moments away from tipping things off. 100% capacity. And 100% of the tickets have been sold. And we're ready to go. UCLA with all the stars of the house. Cedric the Entertainer. Kyle Lowry in attendance. Of course, David Roberts, the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers and his wife. All the stars. Welcome to the Pac-12 in prime time here on your nations and networks. We're just about ready to go. Number four. Villanova and number two UCLA just about ready to tip things off I don't think we could have asked for a better start to the college basketball season than what we're about to see tonight Here we go. UCLA was picked to win the Pac-12. Personally, I don't think they have a chance. The Pac-12 is, they're not that good this year. But their top transfer, of course, is Miles Johnson. But then you got Villanova picked to win first in the Big East. Four starters returned from last season. Top 100 ESPN recruit in Jordan Longo. And Allen. Gillespie, AP preseason All-American. That's all you need to know. As we're ready to tip this off. Last season, Kyle Gillespie, who tore his ACL and was out for the year. He still had 14 points and averaged six assists, while Johnny Juzang did 16 points and four rebounds per game. Both preseason All-Americans. We're just about ready to tip things off. We're just waiting on our officials. That is so cool. I love when they bring him out. Oh, this place is going to be shaking. There's going to be ceiling tiles on from the ceiling. Normal home, normal away. It's a whiteout here at UCLA. And it is time to go. Villanova in the blue, the white for UCLA. And it is time to tip it off at our third and final game of the afternoon. We are ready to go. UCLA Villanova, welcome to prime time on your networks. And Villanova will start with the possession arrow. UCLA will start with the ball. Number two, number four in the country have tipped things off. UCLA three-point favorites. Juzang in the paint with it. Johnny Juzang kicks this one out. Works this one to Bernard. Tries to work this one back down low. Gets this on in the paint. Spins. And that's a turnover. Here comes Villanova with the shot clock winding down. UCLA turns it over. Let's look at the Villanova starting five. A Colin Gillespie. They got Moore, Slater, Samuel, and Dixon out there. As Dixon tried to get a ball to go through the basket. We got whistles and a jump ball. Villanova will keep it out of bounds. 
This energy in this building is already very loud. There we go as they look to pass this one in. And they get this one in bounce. UCLA now with the possession arrow. Kicks this one out. Fakes the three. The step back. Mid-range. No good. Rebound going the other direction. And Johnny Juzang starts us off with our first points. This kid is very good at what he does. And with his team and the talent they have, it's going to be a good one here tonight. We're going to hear his name a lot. We're going to hear this man's name a lot too, Kyle Gillespie, even though he misses the three. Rebound going the other way. Up the floor for three. No good. Rebound going the other direction. Colin Gillespie. Going to do something with it. Gillespie to slow it down. Gillespie makes a move to the lane. Mid-range off the glass. And the two stars score first for both sides. 2-2 two two is our score. It's Bernard, Juzang, Campbell, Jaquad Jr., and Johnson in the starting lineup for UCLA. As they work this one down low off the glass and lays it in. Johnson, the big man, getting his points early. There we go. They swing this one around. Miles Johnson, the transfer from Rutgers. Here we go. Got to drive. Gillespie with it. Gillespie kicks to the big man in a mid-range J. Shot no good. Left it short off the front of the rim. They're running in transition with it. It's a screen. Going to drive. Kicks this one out. Fakes the three. Sets a screen. Going to drive. Mid-range. Kicks this one out. Makes a move to the lane, spins, goes off the glass. Johnny Juzang, no! But Jacoz Jr. with the slam on a putback. And it's 6-2 to two here early, three minutes into our first half. Bringing up the ball is Samuel. Now Slater. Slater with it. Try to create something down low. Slater spins. Slater fades off the glass, lays it in. That was actually Moore who got the layup there. Six to four early. Justin Moore, Tuesday at 27 at a career high. As they work this one up the floor, that one stole it away. And here comes Villanova. Up the floor, kicks it out, gonna drive. And he cannot finish the layup. Gets his own rebound, kicks it out, Gillespie. Rolls it and out on the three. And they're going to transition up the floor. Gonna drive, Euro step off the glass. Nothing there but a foul. Blows the whistle for the first time tonight. We got a foul. 10 or 16, 24 apparently is on the clock. My clock must be running fast today. The only reason I'm questioning is because we have not had a stopped clock yet today. Here we go off the inbound. They work this run around. They're going to call the foul on Moore. Moore picks up his... There you go. Moore picks up his first. And another foul is actually called. I think they just called that one out of bounds. Off the glass, shot up, no good. Rebound going the other direction. There we go in the paint. Now they slow it down. Brings it back out to the top of the key. Gillespie gets a screen. Gillespie to the lane. Kicks it out. It's weird not seeing Robinson Earl after all the time he spent here in that spot. Off the glass. Nothing. We got a whistle. And a foul. Free throws coming up when we return. We'll step aside. Back after this, 6-4 UCLA.
Welcome back. 6-4 is our score. Fifteen forty six to go, nineteen seventy one national champion UCLA. Bill Walton in attendance. That man is an insane man. He's a man among boys. We'll go that way with it, won't we? Last foul before the timeout was on Campbell with 15 and a half to work with. Gets a screen, gonna drive at the paint. Spins, fades, off the glass. Shot is blocked on the way up. And a rebound, UCLA. Up the floor, gets a screen. Kicks this one out. Campbell works this one to Juzang. Johnny Juzang back to Campbell. It's a screen, kicks it out for three. No good. And they're going the other direction. Five minutes into our first half, 6-4 Bruins. It's a screen, kicks it out. They swing this one around the offense for three. Won't go. That one knocked way out of bounds. And it's going the other direction, UCLA basketball. Mike Mick Cronin, third season of UCLA head coach, 42 and 22, reached the Final Four last year. In a pretty extraordinary run, that you got the best coach, one not the best coach, but like top three we'll go with. Jay Wright, 21st season, wins after wins after wins, national championships, wins, wins, wins. You know the deal. 6-4 is our score, though. Off the inbound, gets a screen, gonna drive. Juzang off the glass, no good. Offensive board. That one on the deck. Both teams going for it, we got a whistle. And we got a foul. And Moore just picked up his second, which is a big call because that means Moore's got to sit for a while. Archer Diakono checks in and Juzeg shoots a mid-range quick. The other offensive board, second, third, fourth, fifth, nothing. No one can score as Gillespie brings this up. Here we go, gets a screen. Gonna drive, step back, Gillespie, cross court for three. No good. Offensive board, except that was no, where no, no one was near that as that one's knocked out of bounds. Go in the other direction. UCLA basketball. Don't forget tomorrow, college football triple header starts our day off in the Big B, Baylor University. As it will be Baylor in Oklahoma at noon, followed by Penn State, Ohio. No, not Penn State. Uh, Ohio State, Purdue at 3.30, then Ole Miss, Texas A&M, finishing the day out at 7. With a nice reverse, high off the glass, but the shot's no good. Rebounded, they're going the other direction with it. It's a screen, Euro step to the lane. And a drive, Euro, kicks. To the lane, spins. Got down to 10 to shoot. Makes the three. Going to try from a mid-range now. Tough turnaround. Shot no good. Rebound UCLA. The points are hard to come from. Defense has been pretty good. Neither team could just score. That shot no good by Bernard. Offensive rebound to the lane. And he lays it in. And number zero... Clark able to hit the bucket. Jalen Clark. Here comes UCLA's defense and Villanova's offense. Bringing this one up. It's a screen. Got a drive. 
Down low of the paint. Makes a move to the lane. Spins, fades, bucket. Makes it two with Dixon in the paint getting the bucket. Four different players have scored for UCLA. Three different players have scored for Villanova. Up the floor, gets a screen, kicks this one out. They swing this one around the offense. The step back, got a drive, kicks for three, shots up, and it's good. Bernard knocks down the first three of the game. One for six is UCLA, 0 for four is Villanova. Here we go, got a drive, we got a whistle, and a foul. We'll step aside, 11.33 to go, here in regulation. A side out of bounds, we do return, time out. This is, not, this is not even the best game of the week. Well, it probably is. Villanova and UCLA is tonight. Gonzaga in Texas is tomorrow at 1030. Drew Timmy, who honestly I think is going to win player of the year. I think Drew Timmy is winning player of the year this year. And then, of course, Mr. Chet Holmgren. We'll hear from him a lot this year. If he could put on some serious weight, because, I mean, he is a... He's a, he's a skinny man. If he can put on like, I don't even know, 10, 15 pounds, he's going to be a lot more elite though. Also, out of the NBA... As an easy dunk there for your, uh, Villanova. Out of the NBA, as Daniels hit the layup. And then a three by one of their not three-point shooters. How about that? You don't see that for UCLA. What am I trying to say? Steph Curry has passed Ray Allen for the most three-pointers made all time, including playoffs. Three, 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 five, nine. To three, three, five, eight. Congratulations, Steph Curry. With that foul against you, I'm guessing they're calling that a foul, right? Yeah. No? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just wrong. Oh, and they're going to. Call a jump ball. It's going to be UCLA ball, though. Yep. 
Jay with that jump ball. Possession arrow back. That one almost stole it away. Quarter three. Bang! Back to back and a timeout taken by Villanova. Well, just like that, timeout. We'll step aside. 17 8 UCLA. go out of the geez, out of the timeout 10 36 to work with 30 on the clock and here comes Villanova a little bit of a full court press kind of back it off though not full pressure in a 17 to 8 game as Villanova's got to figure something out as the ball starting to look go through now for UCLA as they swing this one around gets a screen here we go spins here we go fades off the glass and a foul Moore is on the floor back again. He has two fouls. He'll go to the line to shoot two as a foul goes against UCLA. First free throw. No good. He's got one more. Singleton is the one who picks up the foul. Singleton with the pickup. That's his first. And his team's third. So he actually missed both free throws from the line. It doesn't hurt them that much. Up the floor as they swing this one around. There we go. Gets his screen. Kicks this one out. Going to drive. That one stole it away. They need points on this possession. Here we go. Gets a screen. Kicks it out. Works it down low. Dixon in the paint. Dixon spins. Dixon fades. Dixon scores. 17-10 is our score now. That was a good bucket because they needed points there. There you go as they swing this one around. Gillespie looks to check back in as the ball's on the deck. UCLA's going to pick it up. 10 to shoot. It's a screen. Going to drive. That one on the deck and knocked out of bounds. Going to stay on this end. Five seconds to shoot. Here we got the inbound with three to shoot. Has to put something up. Oh, and he hits it. Bernard with the follow through and everything. Oh, and they're going to stop play right now, and they're going to check to see if this bucket counts or not.
He might have got it off with like a like point one or two on the clock. Yeah, it should not take long. Okay, here we go as they get ready to pass this one in. Bernard has taken a seat. As we're down to nine minutes to go here in our first half. 19 to 10 is our score. Throws a lot of the rib, lays it up, and lays it in. Back to a seven-point game now in a 19 to 12 contest. Colin Gillespie's first points of the night. Second point. They throw this one down low, and he'll save it from going out of bounds. Hawkes. Now Campbell spins for the free throw line. Automatic. Twenty-one twelve. <laughs> Give it to screen. Kicks this out. There's a lob to the rim. Spins, fades, bucket. Dixon has eight. Actually, six of their 14. He's, he's the only reason they're in it right now. Shooting three for six, five, point, five rebounds, six points. It's a screen, gonna drive off the glass, lays it up and in. Hawkes Jr. with the basket. A lot of points here early for these two teams. They got to, Villanova's obviously got to figure something out. It's a screen, kicks this one out for three. Good pass to the corner. Bang. That was beautifully executed. It's back to six. And that shot no good. Whistle, rebound, and a jump ball. 7.04 to go here in our first half. It will be villain over ball when we return via the jump ball.
7.04 to go here in the first half. Welcome back. Here we go, off the inbound. This will put us under seven minutes to go in the first half. 23-17 is our score. Kicks this one down low, cross court, out of pass. Spins off the glass and a whistle to foul. With that foul, it looks like it's on UCLA. Moore will go to the line to shoot free throw. He's already 0 for 2 on the day. First free throw up and good, back to a five point game. So Johnson is the one who picked up the foul. That's his first. Two for two for Moore. Moore's got four points and it is now 23-19. We got a 23-19. You know, you know. There we go as they work this one around. Gets a screen. Kicks it out. Ball's on the deck. UCLA turns it over. Here comes Villanova. No turnovers yet for Villanova, which is kind of surprising. Because this ball's been all over the court. There we go, what a pass. Almost turned that one over. Knocked out of bounds. Gonna stay on this end of the floor. Just a couple seconds left to shoot. Here we go off the inbounds. Got to get off a shot. Colin Gillespie for the free throw line is fouled. He, got, he was a little too close, which is, it, this is a good call. Second foul on Campbell. 5.57 to go in regulation. First free throw from the line by Gillespie. Is good. It's a three-point game. And two for two. Six points on the day for Gillespie. In a 23-21 game, five and a, just about five and a half to go. First half. A mid-range, Ju Zhang shot it way off the mark and a whistle and a foul. Foul going against Villanova. We're going to call this one Slater. Slater picks up his first. Team's third in a 21-23 game. Villanova is shooting free throws the rest of the way as they're in the bonus. As that one is stolen away almost. Up the floor, spins, floater, and an offensive foul. And finally, a call goes their way, it feels like. Is 
They're going to call the offensive foul on Johnny Juzang. His first. Foul trouble is going to be a key, it seems like, throughout today's game. Well, and there's a J that falls. It's a good one because it gives them the lead. Colin Gillespie has nine. 24, 23. I don't even know what the run is right now. I think it's 11. It says nothing run or whatever. Maybe 13, 2. To the lane off the glass. And there's a nice bucket there to give them the lead right back. 25 to 24 is our score now. Closing in on the final four minutes. It's a screen. Gillespie with it. Gillespie makes a move. Deep three. No good. Kind of shot that too far back. <laughs> Juzang on the three. No good. Up the floor. In the paint. Spins, kicks for three. It's good. Samuels from downtown. This one's And the ball gets knocked out of bounds. It will have six seconds to shoot when we return. Top out of the floor. Welcome back. 25-27 is our score as we approach the conclusion of our first half. It's been a fun one so far. 27-25, definitely a game of the year candidate already. Con Gillespie has nine. 
Uh, Junior has six and four. Four turnovers for UCLA. That's the difference right now. In fact, they did change the shot clock back to 20, which I don't know why they did that. Works this one down low in the paint. Spins, whistled, an offensive foul. That whistle and an offensive foul, it moves them backwards and it gives the ball right back. And here we go, three and a half minutes to go down our first half. Eight fouls against UCLA. Is another reason why the score is like this. Colin Gillespie with it. Gillespie gets a screen. Gillespie swings this one around. Trying to make a move. Gillespie trying to go somewhere with it. And Gillespie still gets the three. I don't know how he did it, but he did. Thirty to twenty-five is our score. Gets a screen, dumps it down low off the glass, and we got a whistle and a foul. It's on the floor, so the shot clock will be reset to twenty. And that is the third foul on Moore. He's got to be very careful. Two more, and he's done so. He's got three of their four fouls. Oh, and the pass tipped to the inbounder. You don't see that anymore. Villanova has it now. The fresh 25. As they work this one up the court, gets a screen, kicks it out. Gonna drive, slows this one down, hands it off. They swing this one around the perimeter. Gillespie, he's just cooking this defense it, as I say that as he turns it over. First turnover of the night for Villanova. In the paint, Juzeg. And the Juzeg turns it over because he, he sucks right now. Or, well, I should not, that's harsh. He is having himself a very bad start to this game. He has three other seven turnovers. Cannot let, cannot let that happen. Two and a half minutes to go, first half. It's a screen, kicks it out. Works this one down low and the paint spins. Yeah, that's a travel. He just slid way too far. That one was very easy. Three ball, dead yeah, Bernard. It's a three. That's a big one because it gives them some points. They haven't had points in a while. Under two minutes to go here in the first half. As they work this one around, gets a screen. Kicks it out. Gonna drive. Spins to the lane. The step back. Samuel trying to do something with it. Passes tipped. Five to shoot. To the lane. Off the glass. Nothing. And a rebound going the other way. That one could have been a foul, but nothing's called. Up the floor to step into it. Juzang rolls out. Got his Juzang two points, shooting three for nine. How is that possible? One for nine. Samuel's three, no. Messes it back to Samuels, kicks it out for three, back to Samuels, turns it over. Up the floor, Juzeg off the glass, it's good. We're tied at, the, at 30. 30 to 30 with one minute to go. Crowd on their feet here at UCLA. They kick this one out. Ted to shoot. It's a screen going to drive. Euro step off the glass in there. Shot no good. 
Last shot will go to UCLA. Delaying. Bernard. No calls anywhere. And they will let this one run down to their final shot. Johnny Juzang knocks Gillespie out of bounds. Gillespie comes up hobbling a little bit. He seems to be fine. 8.7 on the clock. Second foul on Gillespie. Well, second foul on Juzang, not Gillespie. Four points, two fouls, and a one and one coming up at the free throw line. First free throw, the one and one. Oh, he missed it. Pushing in transition. Juzag to the lane. Johnny. Yes. What a first half, 32 to 30 is your halftime score. UCLA on top, we've hit the break, back at halftime. Starts from the University of Los Angeles, California, right? One, two, three, now.
We welcome you back to the start of the second half. We're just about to start the second half. It is 32 to 30. As we are back for college basketball from the home of the Bruins, UCLA. It's game time. Okay, so second half, just about ready to go. Two zero 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 on the clock, and we're ready to finish off our final 20 minutes. It's probably the last college basketball game. I don't know. We might get one in on Sunday. I, can, I, don't, I don't exactly know. Tomorrow, of course, triple header of college, uh, college football. Baylor, Oklahoma at noon. Ohio State, Penn State at 3.30. And then, oh, why do I keep saying Ohio State, Penn State? Ohio State, Purdue at 3.30. And then... Ole Miss, Texas A&M at 7. That is tomorrow. Gonzaga, Texas for college basketball is also tomorrow. You can watch that on Nation Network 2. If you know what I say without giving away branding. Or you can look it up. Okay, well, here comes UCLA as they bring up the basketball at a 32-30 game. Back to the start of the second half. Mid-range fader, no good, and a rebound going to UCLA, a rebound going to Villanova as they bring it up the floor. As they get ready to kick a screen down low, Gillespie in the paint, Gillespie cross court to Slater. Slater gets a screen, Slater going to drive, Slater to the lane. Slater spins off the glass, lays it in. That's this, that ties this game, and it's a great shot by Slater. Thirty-two to thirty-two to the lane off the glass, and there's a bucket there by their. I'm gonna call their forward. Jacques Jr. He's still trying to get that ball in bounds. That was about five seconds. So. We're close. Just about a minute into our second half. Here we go, gets a screen, kicks this one out. So they swing this one around the perimeter to the lane. Gonna drive, spins, fades, kicks, floater, no good. And a rebound going the other direction a minute and a half in. I do not want to see a lot of fouls here in our second half. That's something... But I feel like we could try to stay away with fouls are just I like the game that is flowing like that jump shot by Johnny Juzang. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh 36-32 is our score now. So you get a screen works this one down low. In the paint. Spins, fades off the glass, shot up no good. Hit a rebound, go the other direction. Oh, and then he turns it over. Up the floor as they slow this one down. To the lane, Villanova. Samuel trying to do something, kicks it to Gillespie. Gillespie gets a screen. Gillespie kicks this one down low. Loses that one out of bounds. It's going to stay on the side of the floor. 12 seconds to shoot. There we go off the inbound. Here comes Villanova for three. There you go. Colin Gillespie's having himself a day right now. 15 points. As they get ready to swing this one around, kicks it out for three. Shot up no good. And a rebound going the other direction. Here we go, gets a screen, gonna wanna drive, kicks it out, dumps this one, tries to dump this one down low in the paint. Mid-range J, shot up no good, and a rebound going the other direction. Oh, and the ball's on the deck, 
And they get able to get it up the floor. And Villanova has the lead on a Samuel as a Samuel Slater. That's a Slater dunk. It was actually Moore who got that bucket and a quarter three by Campbell. No good. Villanova started to pull away as they're getting some misses. Up the floor to lay up no go. Ooh, how did he miss that? Rebound going the other direction. Bernard kicks it to Juzang for three. Johnny Juzang from downtown. Four minutes into our second quarter. Johnny Juzang started the night one for four. Technically was or one for nine. Technically was like one for eleven. He must have counted a couple of those. He's four for four cents. Mid-range three. It's good. Moore is starting to just find himself right now. 40 to 39. Six for 12 and then five for 12 on the three game. And another three. You get a three. You get a three. Everybody gets a three. 40 to 42. It's a screen going to drive to the lane. Moore kicks it out. Samuel for three. And he gets it. Forty-two, forty-three is our score. They kick this one out. Throws a lobbish to the rib. That one stole it away. Here comes Villanova. Here we go. As they get a switched out in favor of Villanova. Fades off the glass. It's good. What a shot there. Forty-five, forty-two is our score. Kicks this one out to the lay and off the glass. There you go. Points, points, points. Keep them coming. That one was Johnny Juzing again. Forty-five, forty-four. To the lane, Gillespie. Kicks this one to Dixon. Dixon kicks it down low. Mid-range, Samuel. They're going to call a foul. So with... That was a six minute and seven second sprint up and down the floor. We'll step aside. Timeout.
Here we go. 44, 45 is our score. 13, 53 to go in regulation. There we go. So 13.53 to work with. Out of the inbound. Shot clock is at 20. So they're ready to pass this one in. Here we go. Passes this one in down low off the glass at a mid range floater. And I cannot tell you the last time someone missed. Slater's got six. Here we go in the paint. Spins. Kicks this one out. Works it down low in the paint. Going to drive baseline and a step back. And we got a whistle. Whistle and a foul. And that one will be going against Villanova. First foul of the quarter against Villanova is... I don't know who they're going to give this to. Could be Gillespie. Colin Gillespie. Here we got the inbound, fakes a three. I don't even know what to say right now. Again, I still don't know where the last time someone missed was. It's been too long. Slater was the one who picked up the foul, by the way. Two odd Slater. There we go to the lane. Spins. Shot blocked. Gets it back. Still able to hit it. That's Was that Moore who hit that one? I think it was. 46-49. Gets a screen. Campbell with it. So they swing this one around the offense. Mid-range. Oh my goodness. Jotty Juzang. He's literally doubled his point total in the first half already. Fifty-nine, fifty-eight. You win if you miss first. If you don't miss first. That one turned over our whistles. Looks like a foul going against UCLA. I think. Twelve fourteen until the next time out. We'll step aside time out, I guess.
Here we go. Welcome back. 12.14 on the clock. I don't exactly know why we went. Wait a minute. Oh, Villanova called timeout. Why did they not say that? There was no indication of why we went to a timeout. I did not know Villanova went to called timeout. That one, there's a miss. Hey, our first miss of the half, and I'm not kidding. That's our first miss, I think, since the 1911 mark. So, I mean, it's one way to put up some points. 49-48. It's a screen. Dumps this one down low. Dixon. A drive. Dixon spins. Dixon fades, and he gets it to go. Count it. And one. We'll step aside now officially. Time out. First free throw from the line out of the uh, timeout is good to complete the end one. No free throws yet today for UCLA. They have yet to get to the line. Here comes UCLA bringing it up. 11 and a half minutes to go. And that shot up and no good. Rebound going the other direction. As they spin, lose it out of bounds. Going to stay at the set of the floor. Off the Bruins. 23 shoot. Here we go. Off the that one just, I don't know what the heck happened there. Nothing even happened, I should say. It's going to stay with... 
Just stay, but not to full court. I don't even know. Still villain over the ball, though. That's all you need to know. Here we go. Get to screen. Kicks this one around. Gonna drive. Now they slow it down. Ten to shoot. To the lane. Spins. Kicks it out. Samuel. Five to shoot. And he throws it down. Good job there by Samuels getting to the rim. And it's 54-48. Trying to pull away. And there's a shot that just put them right back in it a little bit more. Back to four. Here we go on the paint spins off the glass. Shot no good. Villain over desperately wants a foul. Did get one. Up the floor. Gets a screen for three. Kebel. Nothing there. Rebound going the other way. Villanova gets it. And a three there. That's the biggest shot of the night for him. 57-50. And a timeout taken by University of Los Angeles, California. As their second charge timeout. Thirty seconds back after this. Okay, here we go. Out of the timeout as they get ready to pass this one in. Juzang, I don't know what happened there. Three up, no good. Rebound going to Villanova. 57-50 is our score. Villanova outscored them in the quarter in the half, 27-18. Gonna drive to the lane. Samuel kicks it out. They swing it. On the perimeter, Gillespie for three. He got it. The 10 point lead, 60 to 50. So you look for down low, three ball, Campbell, and he gets that one to go. Back to back threes. There he goes. They swing it again to the lane. Mismatch down low. Shots blocked. They're going to transition. For three. Yes. Just like that, it's a six-point swing. Fifty-six to sixty is our score. This crowd is on their feet. There we oh wow, I don't know how he hit that. That's the wrong team. 63 to 56. What a shot. This game is going down to the wire.
There we go. Gets a screen. Gonna want to drive. To delay. Juzeg loses it out of bounds. That should be going the other way. And it is. Villanova ball. And he returns. 7.43 to go here in regulation. Timeout. Five percent here in the second half while UCLA is shooting 59 in the first half Villanova shot 35 while UCLA shot 45 that's saying something right there at a 56 63 game here we go passes this one in a 63 56 game They work this one around the offense. Seven and a half minutes to go to the lane off the glass. Oh, did Gillespie just missed a wide open layup? Rebound going the other way. A wide open is Bernard. And he just, oh, he missed a wide open three. Just wide open. You got, can't hit it. Off the glass. That was a fourth shot. Kind of double teamed was more. They run in transition. Just about seven minutes to go. And we got a whistle, and we got a foul. Couple free throws coming up now. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, the foul numbers are perfect. I'm just waiting to see who they're going to call this foul on. It looks like it is against Villanova. I'm going to call this out Samuel. Samuel picks up his second. Here comes Gillespie bringing it up. 63-56 is our score. Both teams have two top outs remaining. Here we go as they swing this one around. Samuel. To Gillespie. 
And Gillespie going to drive, kicks it out, fakes a three. Trying to create some space, it does. And able to get the three off, but can't hit it. Rebound going the other way, six and a half minutes to go. Up the floor to the corner, Juzang. No on the three. Whistles, that should be an offensive foul. Really? Oh, that's four on more. That was an offensive foul, by the way. That's not a good call. That was 100% an offensive foul that they just missed and had to take this man out of the game because of it. I mean, it was 100% a push-off. Jump shot up and no good. Rebound Villanova as they bring this one up the floor. And the three up, no good. Look at Juzek getting up there, get that rebound. Here we go as they work this one up the floor. It's a screen, going to drive off the glass, misses a layup. Offensive board. Kicks this out off the glass, nothing, nothing, and nothing, and nothing, and they finally blow their whistle on the, on the one that has no contact. Free throws coming up. 5.29 to go here in regulation. They can cut this thing to five. First free throw by Ju Zhang. Or not by Ju Zhang, by uh, Junior. He misses. Still waiting for them to tell me who this foul on was on for Villanova. One for two for the line. So it is a six-point game, two-score game, and they want the pressure. UCLA does. Who? Who the heck picked that up? No, they call this one a Dixon. His first. They work this one up the floor, gets a screen. I'm going to drive. Kicks it to the corner, to the lane, off the glass. Lost that one out of bounds. It should stay on this end and does. Jay Wright wants a foul. And they got to stop the clock. The clock's still running. It, there should be 5.04 on the clock, but... Yep, okay. Oh, wow, they put a lot more time. They put about six seconds more on the clock than it should have been. To the lane, spids off the glass. Nope. Rebound going the other way. Five minutes to go now here in regulation. It's been a while since either of these teams have really scored. Up the floor, gets a screen, going to drive off the glass. Kind of a lob, not really. These two have been hard fadeaway bucket. First points of the quarter for Bernard. Crowd gonna get out of their feet. A 63-59 game. 
That one almost turned over. 10 on the shot clock. Kicks it out for three. They need this. No good. Rebound, UCLA. Closing out our final commercial break of the game. With 4.15 to go here in regulation. There we go. Gets a screen. Going to drive off the glass. Oh, count it and a one. And they cannot stop the clock for some reason. They're so excited that the clock's not going to stop. Time out. Back after this. Sixty-three, sixty-one. Final three fifty-five to go in this one. As we prepare to close this one out, And we have a whistle and a jump ball called. And that makes that Villanova, Villanova basketball, as they call a jump ball. Here we go off the inbound as, the, as it uh, switches. They get a screen, going to drive to the lane, works this one down low in the paint. They need points here. Is Gillespie the one to do it? Woo, they're going to call an offensive foul. The only, it is an offensive foul, yes, but the only reason why I disagree with it is because they have not been calling it all night. Yeah, that's, I don't, uh, it's a hard call. It's a call. It's been called. 3.35 to go.
UCLA could tie or take the lead. It's a screen. Campbell. And Bell gets a screen. Gonna drive to the lane off the glass. Shot up, no good. And a rebound going the other direction. 63 61. Up the floor. And a drive to the lane. Left hand and everything. Yeah, he gets it to go. Slater's got all eight of his points in the second half. Inside three minutes. Gets a screen. Kicks this one out. And I want to drive. Spins. To the lane. Off the glass. He's fouled. And it looks like they'll call it in the act of shooting too. So two free throws coming up. Try to cut it right back to a two-point game. Dixon has picked up the last three fouls. And it's eight fouls to two right now. <laughs> First free throw up and good. 65-62. Up and good. Bruins to pressure. UCLA has four fouls to give right now. Here we go, gets a screen. Colin Gillespie kicks it out, fakes a three. They swing it. Gonna drive. Delayed, spins off the glass, lays it up, lays it in. Samuel with the basket. Actually, more with the basket. Have yourself a half. He's got 12 in the second half alone. He's got 16 on the day. To the lane. That one's stolen away by the big man. Inside two minutes. As they swing this one around. Gets a screen. Going to drive. In the paint. Yeah, that one's stolen away by UCLA. Up the floor. Juzang. Nothing. Ball's on the deck. It'll kick ball violation. Oh, wait. Now they changed the call to a foul on Slater. I thought he put up the kickball symbol. Yeah, it was a kickball. Okay, I was right. Minute 21 in regulation. It's a four-point game. Off the inbound. And they call a foul on Gillespie for that. That is not something you call. That's the ninth foul against Villanova. And two free throws are one and one coming up. First one is good. And the second one is also good. Here we go off the inbound. 
Approaching one minute to go here in regulation. It's a screen, kicks it out. Works this one to Samuel. Samuel trying to make a move, mid range, no good. Out of bounds, saved. This game has a chance to tie or take the lead for UCLA. They'll let this one click kick under at least 45 seconds. It's a screen. 20 seconds on the clock. 40 on the game. To the lane. Off the glass. Nothing. Kicks it out with Ted to shoot. To the lane. Bernard. Off the glass. Oh, we are going to have a shot clock. He literally just threw it up. And it went in. Time out taken. Time out taken. Villanova first charged. Time out. Out of the timeout, 25.1 on the clock. As these two teams get ready to come out of their timeout, one timeout remaining now for Villanova, two for UCLA as we are tied. They look to inbound this one now. Watson checks into the game for this team of UCLA Bruins. Oh, geez. 20 seconds, and there's a foul. They have fouls to give. That's only the third team. Clark picks up his first. 19 seconds exactly on the clock. Off the inbound. 15 seconds. And a whistle. There's a foul on Campbell. That is number four on the team. Here we go, passes it in. Four seconds, three, two, one. Okay, we play one more quarter. Well, 
Well, we're headed over time. Nothing changes. Fouls don't reset. Overtime coming between these two teams. I thought he got fouled. He might have been able to get fouled there. I don't know. This game has been so uh, inconsistently official that you can't even ask for any calls. Or say, could have that been a foul or not? Because you would have. You really don't know. We'll step aside. Final five minutes coming up. Tap out. go welcome back as we're, re we're ready for overtime so each team will have two timeouts we'll get two timeouts added you say i should not have three but they're but they sh oh wait two and three so they should get one timeout back ucla will have three villanova will have two Clock will say five minutes, though. Overtime in the final five minutes. There we go, and the tip goes in favor. Of UCLA. They so work this one around. It's a screen. Johnny Ju Zhang. Zhang with it. Three ball. No good. Offensive board. Kicks it out for three. No good. Offensive board. Kicks it out. Gonna drive baseline. And a whistle. And an offensive foul. And Tiger Campbell will pick it up. His fourth. That is their fifth team foul. They have one to give. Four and a half minutes to go. To the lane, spins, and a foul. Johnson picks it up. Two free throws coming up. And now both teams are in the bonus. Both teams have free throws the rest of the way. First free throw, up and good. Second free throw, good, 69-67. Both fall for Dixon. Here we go, 69-67 as they kick this out. Gonna drive, spins, fades. What a shot. Cam Bell ties this game at 69.
There we go. They swing this one around the offense. Throws this one down low. In the paint. Samuel off the glass. Oh, he missed. Offensive board. Slater. He's fouled. No, he's not. Even though he got hit across the face. Rebound going the other way. Johnny Juzeg with it. In the paint. Spins. Fades. Good. UCLA with on top. Twenty-three points for Johnny Juzang. And Slater gets called for an offensive foul. That's their tenth team foul. And with two fifty two to go, it's a two point lead. Oh, and Hawkes. And that's the dagger in the coffin. For at least now. Timeout Villanova. What a shot. Unbelievable. One timeout remaining now for Villanova. We'll step aside. Timeout. I'll sit next to Bill Walton is the commissioner of the Conference of Champions. Because this is not the Pac-12. This is the Conference of Champions. Here we go off the inbound. Two and a half minutes to go in overtime. 74-69. Still a five-point game, so very doable to come back. If Gillespie can maybe get something going. Gillespie, trying to do something. Quarter three, no good. Ball's on the deck, and it's a rebound UCLA. As they bring it up the floor. This is the biggest possession of the game. Two minutes left in regulation. We are inside two minutes. 
Juzang. No. Rebound. You. CLA has to get back on defense. Here comes Villanova. To the lane. Spins. Slows it down. To the lane. Samuel. His shot's blocked and they're going to call foul. Two free throws coming up. Who are they going to call this on? See, they're on. I'm going to give Hawk Edge the foul. He missed the first. He's got to hit at least this one. He's got to hit this one. Seventy four seventy is our score. Minute and a half remaining. And a whistle and a foul. Four on Slater. Two free throws coming up now here for UCLA. First free throw up and good. And Bell's got another one to shoot. Seventy six seventy. Just about a minute to go. Man, a lot of contact with no fouls. And now they call that one, which is weird. That one didn't have any contact. It's been a weirdly officiated game on both sides. Minute eleven to go. Free throws coming up. Johnson is the one who did pick up the foul. That's his fourth. His third first free throw, good. Just about one minute to go. Oh, weak contact, but they call a foul. Moore's day is done. That's five. They're going to look at something. 44.6 on the clock. 44.2 on the clock.
First free throw up and good. Good. They need a quick score. Gillespie. To the lane. Fouled. And one. He has a chance for a three-point play. That's huge. Bernard picks it up. Oh, and he missed. And then the foul against Samuels. His third. And free throw one is good. Two. Timeout taken. 33 seconds remaining by UCLA. I think there's no information. They'd never give out any information about it. Are they going to tell us this time who called this timeout? They are. It is UCLA. 80 to 74. Off the inbound. Nothing there, offensive board. Kicks it out, they need a three. No good. Rebound UCLA, don't foul. Oh my God. And that's it. Dang it. Uh. Who are they going to call it on? They're going to call it on Gillespie. That's his third. He needs to make one free throw.
Check, check. Sorry about that. Nothing. No, there's no more points. That's going to do it. And he misses the layup. Why are you fouling? You're almost down 54. <laughs> I hate these kind of players. Foul is on Samuel. Why did they foul? You think you could come back? You, you think you could score five times in nine seconds? Why did they do that? Honestly, just throw it at the rim. Kind of just like, ooh. First free throw is good. It's over now no matter what. Ten for ten on free throws in overtime is UCLA, and that's the reason they won. And then they foul with point seven seconds to go. Samuel hit the three. Sixteen fouls in the second half and overtime. No good on the first. Actually, never mind. Good on the first. Hits them both. And that will do it right there. Eighty-six, seventy-seven. We'll see you tomorrow for a college football triple header. Peace out from a number two and number four. Good game.